Small transition. There we are. Hi. Oh my gosh, Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to week 61, episode 61 of Silence Legacy. Silence Legacy! <laughs> As you can see, we have a new friend this evening. Uh, that's Chris. He's going to be playing character. <laughs> what we do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you remember, uh, this was either came up last week or the week before, but for Broaden Horizons, the last time we hit that, uh, Bubo uh, suggested that there is still somebody in the Green Isles on the Quailier Island who is still a friend to Bubo. And Chris is here to play that friend. So very exciting. Huzzah, huzzah. Which All is right. going to be really Thanks. fun because Chris and I have never met until right now. <laughs> it's the magic of the fun, It's the magic fun of fact, the though, Fun fact, Chris is the one who got me involved with D&D four years ago. I oh. love that. I love that. He's the reason. He yeah. is the reason we have to deal with you. Excellent. I was fortunate enough <laughs> to actually DM Thank for you, him uh, during Christmas time. So that was great. Oh, fun. Yeah. And that may or may not have been the time I played, too. I think it was. I was there. <laughs> no? What and we you established, were there, I was and not. You were there, and you were there? I was a there? dwarf, and I blew up a boat. That's all I remember. It was late. <laughs> was that not that game? No, I kind of Anyway, whatever. <laughs> no one's here for that game. Uh, so, uh, welcome to Sounds Like We are an interactive uh, D&D show. Of course, if you've never been here before, welcome. There are ways for you to interact with the story as it unfolds, uh, generally leading to chaos and other such fun things. Um, Oh, sure. Oh, you're showing sure. it. Yeah, make sure you, yeah, but make sure you tell us that's what you're doing. Sorry, I, I didn't think of, I, I honestly didn't think about that. I'm sorry. I was well, just, it's, it's mostly because of the lighting. Out. We couldn't really see the Solens part of the logo. So. Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. Really I'm wearing cool. I'm wearing a shirt that says Solens Legacy on it. I should have clarified that. Jeez yeah. Louise. <laughs> We're off anyway, to a great start. Um, we're off to a great start. Uh, so actually, real quick, let's go around. Well, never mind. Let's not do that. Let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Wormwood. Wormwood. Uh, so Wormwood Gaming, uh, they've been wonderful to us. They sent us uh, a few sets for us to play with. We've played with them ever, ever since. And we've also gotten our own items through them as well. They do all kinds of like cool like custom work on top of the off the shelf stuff that they have. They have dice towers, dice trays, dice vaults, all the beautiful things. <laughs> this is my dice vault that I use every evening with my, <laughs> my dice wonderful vault. My dice vault with my <laughs> Steph Sharp That's dice nice inside of them. Um, <laughs> That's a nice vault. <laughs> That's a nice vault. vault. Uh, if you would like anything from uh, Wormwood, which I think you do, uh, use code PERCEPTION at checkout to get free shipping anywhere in the USA. So if you are into that sort of thing, which just should be. Uh, do that. We are also sponsored by Level Up Dice. Uh, we have a link for them as well. If you use our link to go explore or buy things from them, that also earns us the chance to give stuff away in the future, which is very exciting because their dice are ridiculously gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, so check those out. There's a set in there for anybody uh, and everybody. Um, that said, this is how you can interact with our show. For $5, you can give any of our players uh, what we call a blessing, which is a D6 roll that you can apply to anything. So you can use that to uh, do damage, uh, add it to a check. You can, anyway, basically anytime dice are rolled, you can add a blessing. You can even cash it in for healing, should you need to. Um, at, for $10, you can add to the pool of rerolls for our players. Uh, so if they get, say, an at one, this gives them a, a chance to do a little bit better. For $15, you can give me a DM reroll, which allows me to force rerolls of the players. So if they roll really well, like those beautiful natural 20s, they go bye bye. Um, now those can be blocked by a blessing. So they can a expand blessing. a blessing to block my, my DM powers and I'll have to wait until another day to use it. As you can see, um, I have zero <laughs> and zero. So I will zero not be able to block yeah. anything. Oh, hey. good point. And those counters above everybody's heads, those are blessings and those are re-rolls, uh, I believe, right? Left is blessing, right is re-roll? Correct. Yeah, cool. and I still have a re-roll. That's exciting. Oh, no. uh, for $25, this seems to be uh, everybody's favorite. This is drop a character. So you can describe what this character is. They can be an enemy. They can be an ally, anything in between, a merchant, whatever you want. Uh, we will tweak it and make it fit. Um, and that's the best part. It's super fun. We've had lots of characters. I, we've probably broken at least into the almost hundreds of characters dropped on this show at this point. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You've, sure. you've written them all down, right? For your, uh, just for each Most show? of them. So you, could probably so, that, go, so you could go back and like, tally up how many characters have been 
Oh, that'd be yeah. fun. That'd, that'd be, be a lot. lot. I want a list. And How some of them drops. became so integral to the the plot. The plot. I forgot for a minute which yeah. ones were drops and which ones were mine. <laughs> yeah. So many of them yeah. survived for so long and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then for fifty dollars, this is the the crazy wackadoo one. You can give any of our players DM powers for one full minute. They get to take over the story and say what happens, and I have to deal with it. And that's fun. Sometimes um, they all get dads. Sometimes they all get dads. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's true. Uh, and then every uh, we also have triggers. So every time we hit, a, uh, or the first time we hit $100, that will uh, do a large boss monster uh, monster drop. Uh, boss level monster drop, I should say. At $200, we do a thing called Broaden Horizons, where our players will create something new that is true within the universe. And a lot of those are about to be cashed in tonight, um, including brand new players. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then at uh, when we hit 300, that's something cataclysmically bad for the players. And anything beyond that, we will tackle when we get there. Uh, yeah, that's it. So now let's go around and say hi and introduce ourselves. Mm-hmm. Start with the big screen with everybody in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's us. That's exciting. Hi, I'm Haley. I play Captain Aura Stone. I'm a tiefling r- warg. Ooh, the world had a stroke. <laughs> 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 Fix it. <laughs> warlock rogue. Ah, that's what it is. Warg. And I am not in prison, so that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is good. Uh, hey, I'm Justin. I play Nitsage. I'm a Quileer, uh wizard with a heart beast named Hailstorm, who is a half horse, half dragon creature, and. <laughs> and hello. Hi, I'm Chris. I'll be playing a, a quite near uh, fighter, uh, samurai, and my qua, my heart beast is a half flying snake, half owl. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, what else did I miss? No, you, don't get, you, cool. you don't have to say your name if you don't want to. Yeah, you could say that. Your character's no. name. You didn't say oh, your character's name. My character's name is Yoshio. Yoshi o Yoshi o Yoshi o Yoshi o Oh 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 it's very dangerous That's happening That's happening For sure Awesome I am Ryan I'll be playing Andre Erta Um And I am a Cleric Of the grave So I'm a death cleric Um who God. is uh, devoted Spot to on. the service of Clote, the death god in this campaign. Um, and I'm uh, here to s- break the bonds that my god is currently bound to. Now you're going to be like, you know, mm-hmm. chew bubblegum and take names, but I'm all I, I, I was also whatever thinking that. Hopelessly <laughs> yeah. devoted to Clote. <laughs> Ooh. Also true. Yes. Spot, hashtag Spot Spoton. Spaton. 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 Is it your turn it's there, boobs? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just going to wait till they finish Oops. their spaton. Boobs. <laughs> I don't have them, but uh, neither does my character. So I'm Andrew. I play uh, Bubo, everyone's favorite Quileer elf. Uh, Ranger, Druid Listen Ranger. In a room with two other ones. <laughs> yeah. Sh- <laughs> so everyone's <True>. favorite. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, I have a heart beast named Jumeril, half eagle, half owl. Yep, I have portraits of myself. I have a living sculpture of myself. Mebo, it's the best. What else? There's gotta be a museum somewhere. There's gotta be, <laughs> but we haven't found it It was it in yet. the cave, you missed it. You didn't take the tour. Yeah, uh, that'll be my next Broaden Horizons. <laughs> you could use it, the Boozium. <laughs> yeah, the Boobo Museum. The Boobzium. <laughs> the Boobzium. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's a different museum. No, hang on, no, I didn't think before it mouthed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Boobzium. I feel like that's somewhere Starheart would want to go. The Boozium. The Boozium. Oh, yeah. The Boozium. Yeah. Oh, the go there. Boozium. Speaking of Starheart, who's that? That's me. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> um, I play <laughs> Starheart. Uh, she is also a gnome and also a cleric. No beard on a Batman. And she um, uh, is a tries to be she's really just bad at everything she does except Aww. love her friends that's the only thing she really does it does well she drinks well too Aww. also the she only does. thing she does. Does she love her friends well oh 
my god! We'll, we'll play the game and you'll find out. <laughs> I don't know. She tries. She tries. Ah, and I'm Danny. I'm the DM. I have a lot in my brain sometimes. <laughs> uh, welcome. Uh, and also, thank you for the follows, uh, Jenna Drestia and uh, Havex. And uh, uh, there's another one that I missed. Ba, ba, mm, 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 mm. Ba, ba. I forgot. Nick. Chris's Nick. brother subscribed to the channel. Ooh, Ooh, thank you for the, for the sub. sub. I'm not getting any. Thank alerts. you for the sub. Bum, bum, hey, bum, bum, I think bum, he did it before the went off. Well, went oh, on. Was possible. The screen started. One month. Ooh, oh, baby baby muskrat. Muskrat. I must craft you a question. Okay. Well, now let's actually <laughs> get into the game, shall we? Uh, so when last we left our heroes, we actually made plot progress. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, so you guys uh, abandoned your ship. Uh, well, the first one, you sank uh, with the help of both Aura's uh, poking a hole in the bottom of the boat and then Bubo sending one of his security guard dragons <laughs> after it. Mm -hmm. The empowers. And uh, <laughs> so that ship is obliterated, bottom of the ocean. All of the people who have betrayed you are now dead. Uh, oh. You now have a secondary crew <laughs> made up of Dead One Eyed Willie, also a character drop, his crew. And, uh, well, sorry, not him. He's dead. <laughs> um, but his crew. Uh, your your sh the sweet leaf two is also being accompanied by Captain Setzer, and it will meet you at, at the Isles in two days. But you all took a portal, landed at the college, uh, and the headmaster Billiman Billiman West was able to uh, greet you there. Nitsid, you remember him, and he remembers you fondly. But as soon as you were all in the same space, he recognized Bubo and ushered him off to be arrested and sent him into uh, sent him over to prison. So fun. So. Huzzah! Uh, for you know, crimes against things that we will discover this evening. Um, Counterspell. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Counterspell so much. <laughs> um, just gonna get you a shirt that says that. Counterspell. Oh, yeah, that would be. That would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Counterspell, like it's just sad Danny. <laughs> yeah, and it's got like the message, like Nitch's favorite saying. Yeah, I right. Would totally. Yeah, I would. I would I'd rock that. <laughs> Uh, all right, so, sorry, uh, getting my, uh, oh, uh, to be more clear as to where they are, they are currently in the Green Isles. They are on the Isle of Quileer, which is also where all of the Quileer are from. Uh, so these are the elves who are bonded with heart beasts that are all flight-based. So they're all flying animals. Most of them are birds or combinations of birds, but there are creatures like Hailstorm and like Yoshio's heart beast that are also uh, mixed with different types of species. Um, and yes, yeah, so this is where King Nelka Irway resides, and he is known as King of the Wing, and he is in charge of this entire area, but he's also one of the ways of freeing Andre's god. So they can either assassinate him or assassinate Elish Basir, who is the head of the cult, and they're sort of tied through magic down to Clote, and if, as long as one of them is broken, there's the potential to free Clote. But most likely, King Nelka will be the easier one of the two to murder, but everyone seems to have a conscience all of a sudden, so they're not going to do that, are they? They're going to find <laughs> another way. But Bubo currently has been spending the evening in uh, in prison, in jail. We'll, we'll get to him soon. But for the moment, uh, the rest of you are woken up uh, with wraps on the door that brings you down to a bit of a feast. Uh, Billman West ushers you all uh, over to uh, basically a, a receiving room which is one room away from King Nilka. So they want to make sure you're fed and you're comfortable. Um, and that uh, Quileer is known for ceremony, but they haven't had a lot of occasion to use it because they don't often have visitors of any kind. You're probably the first outsiders to come here in over a hundred years. Yithum. I just, uh, before we begin, I want to check and see if my uh, broader horizon with the pirate map, was that a character drop slash thing? Have we done anything with that yet? Or is that still on hold? With your map? Just for myself, yeah. I don't remember if I took it out, if I found it. You, yes, you did find it. I did find, find it, okay. It. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh, and then all the X's showed up. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. I'm on the page of the same. Okay, cool. <laughs> Perfect. Woohoo! Um, oh, sorry, and to, uh, oh, what was that? What? Oh, everyone's just happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Um, let's see, I'm looking at. Valor right, Studios, there's, there's thank it. you for the follow. Thank you, Bala Bala. Thank you. Bala. Thank you very much. Um, 
Yeah. So yeah, you're all in there eating plenty of plenty of food. Not a lot of meat, um, but quite a bit of fruit, vegetables. Uh, there are these sort of uh, very nutritious vines that are surprisingly tasty for what they are, and they're served almost like very very thick noodles, mm. uh, and they're cooked to a point where they're nice. Ooh, star hearts can break be away when you bite down. <laughs> yeah. Some beyond. So meat. I mean. So you're all very comfortable, but you're also all very concerned about your friend. But you, you're you also aware of the fact that uh, you have pressing matters with the king. So there's just a lot to deal with. So you have a couple moments to yourselves before uh, before anyone will come and visit you. Did anyone sleep well last night? I mean, the bed was extremely comfortable, so sort of. But I do feel bad that Bubo's uh, probably in a cell somewhere. Yes. Nitsuj, <laughs> I feel that you were most close to him. Uh, do you have any idea why he would have been arrested here no huh. not at all he's very secretive uh we are also very close he taught me how to steal so um excuse you i could not sleep because the weight of a friend who's been in prison is weighing heavy on my conscience yes i agree should we bring him food is that a thing I we can have visitors right there's visits in jails <sighs> We do have pressing matters to discuss with the king. Uh, maybe us talking with the king will soften his mind up to releasing Bubo. And what exactly are we planning on saying to your king? That I, mm, I don't know. Well, well we just <clears throat> oh, we're you gonna go. have a game plan, but honestly, you're probably going to have to do most of the speaking. You d- don't look at me like that. They're, I don't feel very welcome here. <sighs> what if I I could send you a message of what to say, and then you say it? It's worked perfectly every time. <laughs> Absolutely, it has not. <laughs> <laughs> but I like your idea. Maybe, hmm. maybe... Aura can send, uh, talk to you. Well, we're all going to be in there. Hopefully. Hopefully. What if the king doesn't even see us? Only sees you. Ooh. Uh, is there any attendants with us right now? There are cup bearers and there are, uh, there's like a guard at the door. Um, if you'd like to chat with him. Is that a dude literally holding a cup and that's all he's doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're there to refill the plates, <laughs> refill your drinks, that sort of thing. How large oh, is oh. Hailstorm? Hailstorm is fairly large at this point. He's about, he's just a little shorter than uh, than Nitsij currently. He's, okay. Is he big enough for me to ride on? Not currently. But for Stormheart, okay. right? Hmm? What's that? Yeah, for Star- you could you could ride yeah. Hailstorm if you need to. <laughs> The gnomes can, yeah, for sure. <laughs> what if I hid under, like, I attached myself to Hailstorm, and then I was just quiet, and I, like, hid under a wing? So, huh? I mean, or not, a mane? not that big. Well, and also, I feel like the king might have mages around him <clears throat> to well, see through. And then I also <clears throat> then point at the guard standing watching us. I was like, he also might notice. <laughs> uh. Oh. I don't know why we're discussing. I'm sure, I mean, we are all told that we were able to be here and speak with the king. So I don't know why we're yes. right. being confused and, and panicky about us, me, only going in there. No. You hear um, swishing coming from a corridor and uh, a little golden staff kind of clinks on the floor every other step. Greetings, visitors from other isles and other lands. I am Plibble. Do not laugh at my name. I hate it. Plibble? But I'm here to work. Plibble, yes. My name is Plibble. Gesundheit. (laughs) Thank you. I am here to welcome you into the chambers of his royal rakis, King of the Wing Nilka Airway. Now, if you'd kindly come with me, we are here for the uh, gift ceremony. This is something that is customary for any visitors to the Isles. No, no, no. The gifts are for you, for you are our guests. Oh, right. we're right. not right. the gift. I mean, my presence is a gift, but... And our gift to the king You're a gnome, are you? What? Are you a gnome? I am gnome by many things. I decidedly dislike you. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Now, if you would kindly follow me, he turns and his robes just kind of swish on the ground. Tap, tap, tap. He gives like That's three me. taps and the chambers open inward towards the, the king's throne room. Uh, it's these, very tall. Mm. Huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, listen, this, these people have very limited sense of humor. That's why I am the way I am. Bubo is an enigma. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this uh, this castle. Uh, so you've moved from the college into this building. You're not in the same building anymore. Okay. And the, uh, the 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 castle for the king is a very high, hollowed out steeple, kind of like the ones behind me. Uh, slightly more vertical, not not very tilted like that. Um, and it's 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 very open air. So there there are no walls beyond this this room. So the door is open. And it's just columns keeping a large high ceiling up. And you can tell that there are various uh, like swinging stands like you would find in a bird cage, but they're enormous. On one of them, you see a, uh, a golden pheasant phoenix just kind of hopping from side to side. And you recognize this immediately, Nitsuj, as, uh, as the king's heart beast. And it is unique in the, in the fact that it has been the heart beast of every single uh, leader in the line of this bloodline. Because when they die, it dies and is reborn to be there, bonded with them once again. Do uh, I know its name? Uh, no, you don't. Um, do we? We don't know any uh, the layout of this place, do we? Or Nitsich might. Uh, no. I mean, Nitsich probably wouldn't have had any occasion to okay. come to the castle. Like he was pretty much raised to go to the college. After the college, he left the island. I can guess from looking at, you know, maps and things and books and, but I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yes. No, do you know where they might be keeping Bubo? Probably yes. in the dungeon? Yes, in the, yeah, but in the jail. Yeah, that is? I have an idea, yes. So what you know about the jails here is that they're even higher than the royal seats. They're up in, in very tall spires and they're essentially gibbets that are hung from the ceiling and they're swinging and it's like a cage to hold both the, uh, the Kwai and their heart beast. Uh, so they're not going to separate them. They're not super cruel, but at the same time, they want them inaccessible to anybody else. Um, That's her right. I, I, go to a, I go to a window and point up. Do you see up there? That's one of the examples of what the prisons are here. <laughs> Interesting. Well, hopefully with a chat to the king, we might be able to remedy that. Yes, so let's be on our best behavior as I look. Yes, quiet. Oh. Let's do that. Thank you. His royal Rackus, king of the wing, Nilka airway. I kneel. Danny, Danny, yeah, do, do, I know, do I know the proper protocol? You would know the etiquette for sure. Uh, so you know it's 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 a kneel and a, and a and a slight head bow. Like you don't have to like uh, kowtow. You don't have to like put your head down or anything like that. It's just one of those like avert your gaze, show respect. Sure. Uh, and you've known Nilka Airway to be very kind. Like his his guardsman seems to be kind of a dick, but yeah. he's he's known for being fairly warm, especially as far as the the choir concerned as a people. Um, I look to is is Pebble Pibble still nearby? No, he bowed and he like slid out backward of the room and closed the door oh, behind him. Oh, I was him, gonna so ask him something. Shoot, okay. Um, so yes, I go to kneel and head bow and look to- I'll, I'll match what-, what uh, And I look to Starheart to see if she's doing the same thing. Wait, what are you, you're kneeling? Starheart, kneel, huh? kneel and head bow. But no one announced me. I'm gonna um, very slowly whip her with my tail to try and get <laughs> <laughs> And then I bow. Man. Get your ass uh, down. <laughs> I bow, I bow, I'm bowing. So a few uh, steps you can hear coming from behind the throne. There's a chamber on the other side that's sealed off in the similar way that the, the ante room was that you just came from. Uh, so he's opened that door, come around from behind the throne. And as he does so, uh, his heart beast swoops down and lands on the back of the throne, which has a perch for his animal, and he sits on the throne. Hailstorm is behind me doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, sitting, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Welcome, so my dear friends. I am King Nilka Yeway. Please rise. Now, it is 
rare that anyone should ever visit me. It hasn't happened for over a century, but your friend Arden Barlow was adamant that you come and speak to me. Now, I am happy to get to business, but I am glad to welcome new faces to the Isles, you see. But you have brought with you a stain in the cloth of the Quilea people. The war criminal, murderer, and romantical coward, Bubo. I am curious as to why you will bring such a disgraced individual back to our homeland. I have heard, Nitsuj, that you studied in our college. Is that correct? No. Uh, yes, it is, Your Grace. Good. I am glad to see our graduates out and spreading our wisdom. To the best of my abilities. Very good. And who uh, is in your company? Um, uh, yes, Your Grace. Um, uh, this is Captain Aura Stone. Greetings, um, Captain. I have heard of your exploits and congratulations on becoming an honest captain, if you don't mind my saying so. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, hmm. She has done very well in leading us to um, do as best as we can against the forces of evil. Quite. Good. Uh, uh, this is, um, this is Andre, uh, Cabe. Pleasure, Your Grace. The pleasure is mine. I have heard of your father, Elder Cabe Erta. He is famous in these parts. Yes, he has taught me wonderful things. Uh, and I'm at your service if you need any, uh, clerical uh, assistance on your lands. Um, he is he is very wise and um, uh, very promising as, as help as well. Um, and this is Starheart Flitborn. Ah, of the proud halfling race. Sorry, gnomes. <laughs> I don't leave the island very often. Starheart. You, you may respond. Oh. Um, so when Nitsij was saying my name, um, I would like to have been sending a message to Bubo. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and so I say, um, hey, Bubo, it's Starheart. Help me help you, please. What did you do that the king thinks was a war crime? Love you, bye. Um, Star Starheart, you can, respond. you can respond now. I'm Starheart. Uh, her yes. magnificent Starheart. Uh, the righteous, the benevolent, the supreme. That is I. And where exactly do you hail from? Oh, here and there. I'm kind of an everywhere person. She was raised by the Red uh, Red Plains Minotaurs. Yes. Plains Minotaurs. Uh, they are a peaceful people, from what I recall. Yes, you have amazing food. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. I could give you some recipes from our chef. Oh, I would love that. Good. Now, um, Your Majesty, uh, before uh, we get down to business, I apologize, but it is customary for me to present all of you with uh, gifts from the island. So, with <laughs> he snaps his fingers mm -hmm. kind of awkwardly. You realize he really does not socialize often, <sighs> if ever. And you can read it all over his face. This dude oh, lives in the a room. Sing, say. He's the boss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are honored by um, Grace, and uh, your gift will be arriving shortly by ship. Oh, well, thank you. I, <laughs> I did hear about it. I have no idea where I'm going to place it, but thank, thank you. Um, these are for you. And these boxes are, are, are let out. They're all gilded and some of them are ceramic. They're thousands of years old. They're, they're, the boxes aren't for you to keep, just the contents. Um, and he, he individually sort of introduces each item. And these are, Nitsage, these are going to be your, uh, your Broad Horizons items that you asked for a while back. Um, <laughs> with a little flair. Um, so there are inside Kwai Boots of the Owl, 
So these are essentially boots of elven kind. So they allow oh. they grant you silent steps, advantage on stealth, and they're able to fit anyone, basically. So you can divvy any of these items up however you wish. He also gives you a feathered cape of flying, which is made of molted heart beast feathers over generations. It takes a very long time to make one of these. It is a rare and kingly gift. Um, he gives you a cassowary ring, uh, which is made of heart beast beak. Uh, and it, it gives you the jump spell for 10 minutes uh, once per day. Uh... And I believe, yes, sorry. Uh, there's also a uh, lovebird cloak, which is a an additional, because there already is one, a cloak of displacement. There are gloves of the harpy, which give you, basically allow you to make a strength attack with your hands, like a grip thing with a, with like a plus six and extra damage, which we can get into whenever they're used. They're, they're beastly. And then there's the necklace of the lyrebird which allows you to mimic any heard sound or voice with absolute perfection. Oh. Um, what and that? these the are what the, the what of the harpy? The, uh, sorry, the gloves of the harpy are what or, give you that crushing sorry, tendon the, strength. The lyrebird. That was the necklace, necklace of the lyrebird is the is the last item. Um hooray. So now that he has presented you with the gifts, he now welcomes you closer to the throne. He retakes his seat on the throne. Now, what is it that has brought you um, all this way? Uh, well, Your Grace, we recently traveled from the north of the Glasslands, um, and and With met the banished. Yes, Your Grace. Um, we believe that the. Quilem. The Quilem uh, were placed under a curse by your father, your grace, but we believe that he was perhaps under the influence of someone else when he did that. Um, you speak of my father's old advisor, Basir. Yes, your grace. Uh, we believe that Elish Basir was the one who was whispering into your father's ear to encourage him to place this curse upon the Quilem. Um, I don't believe... Just... Yes, sir. Oh, no, excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt. I do believe my father asked him to make this curse. You see, he wanted to stop executing people in public, so he decided to banish them where people would no longer be seen, uh, but also not killed outright. It's a way to sort of keep the peace and out of sight, out of mind. And while your father, his grace, I'm sure, was doing it to try to protect his former people, it is actually causing greater harm, we believe. Uh, we believe this curse, along with the power that Elish Basir has, uh, that he has harnessed and is manipulating the power of the god Cloat. And I am here to testify on that, Count, sir. Um, I worship uh, the god Cloat, um, as a devote, and he has spoken to me of his troubles of late, uh, going back to your father's beginnings. I see. Well, if this is true, and I am inclined to believe it, Arden Barlow would not send someone uh, just to test me. Where? How would we stop this problem? Well, our one of our first objectives is to keep you as safe as possible, Your Grace. We... Me? You are a link. And Bubo's trying to keep you safe too. That's why he came with us. Please don't speak his name in my hall again. Well, Hart, we can get to him uh, um, soon. <clears throat> Um, yes, uh, your majesty, you, your DNA is the link to your father and to the link to the curse. Elish Pesir wants you assassinated and he has great power. We are not here. 
we are not here to do any of that kind. Although, to be in the utmost forefront with you, all of us have been invited to take up that mantle of assassin, but we have all refused. And we Cody. sincerely appreciate that. Um, and our goal and our destination is to dispatch with Elish Pesir himself. I see. And how may I assist you? Were I so inclined? Rest and think on it, my friends. I will find you. Time out. We need table time. Oh, sure. Oh. oh, I was gonna. Uh, okay, so we we wanted we wanted to enlist the help of the king for the Kwai Lim coming here. I need a reminder on the curse. <laughs> okay, so the, the the curse of the Kwai Lim was basically Elish Basir tapped the god Clot. Yes. At the whim of uh, of Belk Irway, Nelka's father, the old king, um, and he used the king as a link to the death god in order to siphon that power out. Um, and he used that power to banish the Lem so that they would be forced to travel northward into the Glasslands or they would perish. So they're consistently driven north That's right. until they reach that destination. Uh, and it's led to many deaths and lots of just miserable elves. And even those who learn to survive uh, are obviously miserable. They're immortal and they're in hell essentially, but on land. Um, and so they, they are able to leave for about a week or so at a time before the curse takes hold again. And so they have just enough time to get to these isles. And the idea, initially, I think the last time you were talking was to find a way to call him back and potentially trap uh, Elish Basir so that you can all oh, that's right. That's together. right. We wanted to. Uh, that's right. That's right. Um, which way did the king go? Which way did the king go? Yeah, you said he was. He stopped talking, or he was like, "I'll let you guys think on it." Oh, yeah. He was going to usher you back to your quarters, and he would meet you later. And as uh, before, he did so. Uh, was there more? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like... I want to ask the king something. Because the original plan was we were going to pretend to assassinate the king to draw the red man off, but we've already met the red man, so it's kind of a moot point. And now we know he's way too powerful for us right now. I mean, we can still try and act like we assassinated the king. Should we just roll right this out? Yeah, we should. <laughs> I'm still going to cut away from this scene for the moment. Um, and Bubo. You are. It's me. You have been manhandled and thrown into a cage, like up, mm -hmm. dragged up many, many stairs. You didn't fight them uh, as many of them expected you to, um, uh, probably out of care for your friends to not give them a bad reputation upon arrival. Mm -hmm. um, and you, the first face you see, uh, the second the gate closes on your face, is your old general. It is, and you remember his name is Clandon Rothbow. Mm hmm and he was formerly your superior officer. Um, and he is currently riding his heart beast, uh, which is a massive black heron osprey combo. And he's uh, just kind of flying just outside your, uh, outside of your cage. You dare to come back here. That's correct. It's good to see your face again. Right. I dragged your name through the mud. I thought when you left, you'd at least be smart enough to never come back. Yeah, I thought about not coming back, but uh, there's some pressing matters that I had to take care of. Your trial is later today. Oh, I can't wait. You'll either be banished or killed, and it's my word against yours for all your crimes. <laughs> oh, little do you know. <laughs> He, uh, as he starts to sort of, you know, he pulls his heart piece back with his reins. Mm -hmm. And Yoshio, you recognize your friend about halfway up because you were standing post. You were informed that Bubo had returned to the island. Um, so now that he's sort of sweeping away, you have a moment to reconnect with your with your old friend. Will the general hear? 
No, he's he's flying. he's flying off, just kind of enjoying himself. The, this the sort of lucky strike that he gets to take care of Bubo and continue to save his reputation. All right, <laughs> Bubo, I never thought I'd see you again. Oh, Why the oh, hell did you come back? Wait a minute, Yoshio. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was you over in the corner. <laughs> it's been a long time, my friend. A long sure time. has. We sure do miss your jokes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I could be the life of the party around here. It seems awful boring still. <laughs> oh, some of your jokes. The men still talk about them. Still hilarious. As they should. Wait till you see the guys that have been following me on the ship. They made oh. portraits and statues of me. It's hilarious. No. You'd get a kick out of it. We should get them to make a portrait of you. You'd love it. It's Absolutely. been great. It's been great. Listen, um, I'm in jail. <laughs> I've noticed. It's not really going to help out my situation here. Uh, you probably don't know why I'm back, do you? I was just going to ask you. I could see it written all over your face. You're about to ask me the question. I beat you to the punch again. Listen, somebody's trying to kill the king. They approached me to take that contract, and I wouldn't do it. And I haven't changed a bit. So you ought to know that if I'm not taking the contract, it's a big deal. That's good to hear. I would have had so, to batch of you myself. Right. We can't have that. That would be ridiculous. You know I'd win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking like I have something in jail to drink, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was I'm just sure. faking it, pretending that my life here in this jail cell is great, but it's not. Listen, the red man, do you know him? Elish Basir? I've heard of him. Yes. He's the king's father's right-hand man. He was the reason for the Kwai Lim, by the way. He's the one who wants the king dead. What? Yep. You heard me. I said it. How, how do you know this? How do I know this? Because he was right in front of my face trying to get me to take the contract to kill the king. And I said I wouldn't do it. There's got to be a better way. That better way? Killing Elish Basir. So we came here to help protect the king and to get rid of Elish Basir. And yet here I am in jail, which is not going to work out for my little plan. Well, our plan, not yours, unless you're involved. You can be. I like you still. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would you have me do? I can't exactly break you out. That's what I would have you do. <laughs> Get me out of jail. Listen, here's the deal. I'm in here. You're out there. You're in a better spot than I am already. See what you can do. I'm still under the general's thumb. I may have earned my way out of his service, but if I speak a word, I'll be right in there with you. And that wouldn't help us both out. No. Because I want out of the jail. I don't need to stay in here. If that wasn't clear enough already. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. Trust me. We'll get a statue made of you yet. And perhaps a portrait but, too. Oh my gosh. Trust um, me. Thank Oh, Thank sorry. you, Beard on Thank a Batman, you, on for a your Batman. donation. Oh, of, uh, great. I was prison Mike. Prison I was Mike. in it. What do we have? Prison Mike. <laughs> prison Mike. So as you're as you're barking at your old friend Yoshio, you realize that the cushion that you've been sitting on is breathing, <laughs> and he rolls over and knocks you uh, onto your onto your knees, and he kind of like stretches up. Like, <sighs> oh, oh, so uh, when are we breaking out? <laughs> you didn't realize there was someone else in there with you? Yeah, no. they forgot about me a long time ago. He's Mike. been in here for a while. Nice to meet you. Smells the same as everything else in here. 
Didn't even recognize him. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Marcus Crux. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, you're what do you do? Get me out? Oh, no, nope. I mean, what do you do? Yeah. Nope. I, no, nope. what do you do? Why are you here? What do I, I've, I used to steal a lot from people and I used to get into a lot of bar fights. It's dark. We in don't here. even have a bar. I'm really talented. Mike, <laughs> it's dark in here and I can't, uh, clearly, I thought you were a, describe yourself, please. What do you look like? <laughs> well, for hotness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will roll for hotness for prison, Mike. Prison hotness. With disadvantage. Uh, he's a 10. He is a 10. <laughs> ah, uh, okay, so like he's a prison, yeah, right? prison 10, yeah. Is it a prison 10 or is it like a <laughs> <laughs> He's a 10-10. Ten, ten. Uh, he he, he he's, he's got like a rounder face, but like a really strong jaw. He's got a pretty solid build. Obviously, he's, he's quieter. Um, his heart beast looks sort of malnourished. Uh, it's like the sort of little like puffin penguin thing. Um, and it's clearly eaten too much of everything. So he's just got this little swollen belly, his legs barely like, like they push the belly out when they, when it walks and stuff. Um, yeah. So he's just, um, so I heard that you're breaking out. So I went in. I, I mean, do you want to be in here? Wouldn't you no, want to break that's out? Why I want to break. Yes. It's okay. So theoretically, I was just saying, I wish I could break out, but it's clearly mm -hmm. not going to happen because look at your surroundings. I didn't even know two that's of us true. could be in this same cage. Well, it's not comfortable. No, but... clearly. Mm -hmm. Although you're an excellent pillow, I have to say. Thank you. I've been working on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll cut away from you guys for a bit when you're. <laughs> in that moment <coughs> um so back with the bleh, back with the king and uh and the rest of the party yeah party uh, uh which oh sorry you go nope not for you oh uh is king nalka still there or did he move back into his alcove um he's he's available to you should you need him like you could just I... call for him but he's he's given you the room for the moment as oh. he sort of takes in all the information I would like to wander to him as I am wont to do. Okay. Yeah, so uh, a guard who sort of takes his place, wraps his staff, they switch places. Oh, your majesty. And I curtsy. Uh, two seconds. You're okay. Uh, uh, be, 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 uh, it's, uh, you are star hot. Great. Yes. Yes. Uh, so... If I may please ask, may I inquire as to what happened? A great many things have happened on this island. Well, one of my friends is, and I, 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 wondered why you said he he committed war crimes and those are very bad so yes, terrible atrocities he will be tried later today and i will rule over the proceedings uh, may i please know what he's being tried for if you must but you seem a very sweet girl he's being charged for torture of prisoners Slaughter of prisoners, slaughter of innocents, kidnapping, ransoming, pillaging of consecrated grounds in the kingdom of Estrain, desertion, abandonment of royal proposal, and fleeing justice. And those are only the official charges. Well, I mean, sometimes he, he's, he'll say, well, see you later, and he'll, he'll leave, but... Well, I, I, he fled. I, My trusted general, Clander Nothbo, informed me of all of his crimes. He said he was waiting for the right time to tell me about everything that he had done. Clander Nothbo. Well, uh, thank you for your confidence, uh, Your Majesty. Certainly. You are welcome to attend the trial if you wish, but if it does not go the way that you would hope, I, I would not want to... Heavy your heart with the information. 
<laughs> when is the trial and where is the trial, Your Majesty? It will be uh, three stories down from here, same building. That is our courthouse. Can you can you give me the name of the the general who gave Nelka the information about Bubo again? Yes, uh, Clandon Rothbo. Thank you. Uh, he re-enters the room with you. He, he joins you as he hears Nitsich speaking. Um, and he notices uh, something uh, before he speaks to you, Nitsich. Um, where did I put it? Oh. <sighs> Nitsich, you yes, and your, your heart beast are not as um, connected as, uh, as one should be at your current ages. Uh, I'm sorry, you, might just, you said uh, myself and Hailstorm are not connected? Yes, he is very uh, severely stunted in his growth. Um, before you leave the aisle, you should visit uh, Loasi. He's one of our uh, spiritual advisors. Uh, he should be able to get you and Hailstorm right back on track. Now, Gildan and I, he looks up, we see Loasi about twice a week. And y- you realize that there's almost been a sort of forced perspective thing going on with this heart beast. You only now realize how massive this creature is. It is easily about 10 feet tall from like claw to top of the head. Um, but it's just light and swift. And because everything else is also very tall and golden and stretched in dimensions, it's, it was hard to, to take in the shape and size. It is one half of your soul. You yes, have of to course. respect that connection. Of course, Your Majesty. I, I <clears throat> we've been through a lot. Um, Your Majesty, um, to discuss further uh, amongst the situation that we're in right now, I, I do believe I have um, an idea to our initial plan of how we can get uh, Brasir here. But I'm afraid that, and I want to, we, we've long rested, like we've kind of been here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna get some of these spells back real fast. Um, I wanna, I would like to use my uh, feature uh, and turn on my third eye to see oh. invisible creatures and objects. And I'm looking for any kind of like scrying eye or anything like that in the room with us. In the main chamber? You the see nothing chamber. of the sort. Yeah, nothing in here. This is uh, this is more of like a public room. His private chambers would be the room behind the throne, which he just exited from. Your Majesty, do you trust everyone in this open room? To be completely honest with you, no. I've only just met most of you, but... Um, uh, not us, the people who you work for. Uh, oh, with my very life. For you. Certainly. We had crew members that sailed with us through very trying times who turned on us in an instant, or at least when they had the opportunity to take Elish Basidus' contract of assassinating you. We do not know which individuals they were, but they couldn't tell us or they would be killed themselves. We found one out and that was Captain Aura's First mate. First mate. I would like to propose that we might be able to go into a more private area to discuss plans. Certainly. Uh, give me a few moments. Uh, I am expecting someone to join me shortly. Uh, and, uh, what's your name? Uh, Yoshio, you enter. <laughs> As a, as a trusted uh, friend of the king. Yoshio! Your Happy returns. 
uh, please, I need a trusted advisor in this room with me. No offense to, to you newcomers, but I, I prefer to have security that I know. Um, but let us uh, enter my chambers, please. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, and before they get down to business, Yosha, they ca- they, he catches you up to speed with the current uh, threat on his life and all of those things. Now, is there a way... And Yoshio, please do not be offended by my question, uh, but uh, Nitsuch, is there a way for me to ascertain that he will not kill me? <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, yeah! Um, I cast a Zone of Truth. Um, can you... And I'm, and I'm casting um... Uh, detect thoughts. So, for Zone of Truth, um, if you can, uh, it's a charisma check. Okay. And also make a wisdom check when you get done with that. Hey, Nelka, do you also mm. have to roll because you're in the zone? Anyone who's oh, in it, probably. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we all roll technically. Well, whoever. Uh, <laughs> King Nelka fails. That is good to know. Yeah, I'll fail as well. You fail as well. Okay. I rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, I'm gonna fail that too. Prepare okay. to be truthed. And I know, uh, and I know all of his thoughts right now because he failed his mm-hmm. wisdom save. <clears throat> okay. What is your name? Yoshio Midorime. That's very pretty, Yoshio nice Midorime. To meet you. I am Nitsuj, uh, and this is Captain Orstone. Uh, this is uh, Andre Cabe, and this is Starheart. Starheart, yep. Okay. Are you going to kill the king? No. Never. Uh, Your Majesty, do you yes. think mm-hmm, is guilty? No. You don't. Oh, uh, oh, yes. Yes, I do. Oh, you said no! Don't you? Your Grace. <laughs> you thought you were talking about Yoshio. <laughs> oh. Your Grace, do you find it odd that one person could commit so many crimes? Have there been any other witnesses besides your general of these accounts? There have been others of his squadron who have confirmed the accounts of everything that he had done. As a matter of fact, Yoshio, you used to serve with the uh, unnamed, correct? Yes, Your Majesty. And you have seen that he has done such dark deeds. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Majesty. Do you think he's guilty? I ask this to Yoshio. He is guilty of his crimes. But did he do them for a good reason? Do you think? No, he did not. Explain uh, first, Yoshio. What are the thoughts? So I can only, not only can I read the surface thoughts of him, I also read his, the deeper thoughts that's going on. What, what am I getting from your deeper thoughts of this? So these questions. Uh, you're seeing flashbacks of uh, just killing, torturing uh, prisoners, uh, uh, killing babies, uh, just all sorts of awful, any the worst things you can imagine happening in a war, and to you know, civilian prisoners, people who've already surrendered. Would it be completely disruptive if I left the room with the king? Well, I, he's very invested in what's going on with Yoshio right now. This is the first he's ever like spoken of. I don't think he would leave with you currently, is what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, no, not him if I left. Oh, if you left? I don't, yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, Doesn't I think he would be fine. Doesn't the zone of truth go with you? Huh? Doesn't the zone of truth go with you? Well, I can, yes, it does. Okay. I can. Yeah. Oh, it's centered on the target to... of my choice, on the point of my choice, so it would stay, stay with them. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've ascertained that when she was asking him you know, about the contract or whatever, 
I didn't hear nothing came from his thoughts in that area. Mm -hmm. um, uh, thank you, um, Captain, Mister Yoshio. Uh, um, I'm sorry. What do I? How do I address you? Sir, it's fine. Oh, sir, very, very good. Um, Mr. Yoshia, um, <clears throat> um, you have you have been found, uh, at least through my means, that you are telling the truth, indeed. Um, <clears throat> I have a question. Uh, yeah. Yoshio? Um, so, so Bubo, he was in, he, he was a guard? He served with me. Or I mean, mm -mm, was a guard. He served with you. Who and 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 Rothbo was your senior in command. Yes. Your Majesty, may may I propose a thought to you, please? Certainly. I've known the prisoner for a while now and I know him to be a good person who would not do something that heinous unless he was forced I wonder if he was told he had to by Rothsbow or I asked a large accusation against my military advisor and strongest high yes. ranking general. Uh, Starheart, we're, we're dipping too further into this lake that we cannot swim in. We need to just take a step back from this and focus on the task at hand is keeping this king safe. I apologize, Your Majesty, if I speak out of turn. It's just that I love him very much. I understand. It is time for me to begin. Uh, well, Please. It's, it's almost it's, time for Bubo's trial. Your Majesty, you mean please. to keep me safe and keep me alive? Keep me alive downstairs. I, I speak for your friend again there, if you wish. Of course. Yes, sir, Nitsich. I still need to speak of the plan to keep you alive. I have the means to make you look, feel like you are dead to those who do not know the spell. I see. If we cast this on you, then I believe, well, I, don't, I don't believe, but maybe it could be a, a lure of some kind to get El Shbazir here. We have the finest mages from the, from the college uh, and the finest soldiers here, like uh, Mr. Yoshio. Yo Mr. Yo Yoshio? Yosh am I saying that? Yes. Yoshio? Sure. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Mr. Yoshio uh, and, and the general. Um, that could be a plan that we have. Um, Roll a persuasion check. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> While the king is distracted, uh, mm -hmm. talking to uh, Nitsich, can I mm -hmm. subtly point to uh, uh, Diva and message her? Yep. Mm -hmm. Start her. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'll subtly point to you and tell you you're on the right track. Keep digging. You're correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, I just very subtly nod. Till you know, I understood. And while while um, Nitsidge is talking, I also put my hand on Nitsidge's back and I cast guidance. Oh, bless you! Ooh, that is sneaky bitch. Before, <laughs> uh, I still have an inspiration. Does an inspiration take the place of my role, or do I take the two better roles? Advance the. Yeah, it's advantage. So copy that. You know what? I'm gonna use an inspiration for this. One. Um, re before you do. Um, I have a question about that spell. Uh, it, does it only work for one person? Can you do it for more than one person? Like, is it is it very powerful to do? Uh, so it is a third level spell. Okay. Uh, 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 you know, it, it's only an hour. 
only lasts an hour. But, you know, we could do something and you know, have an hour to try and... I'm, I'm thinking a way to signify trust is to have one of us go under the spell's effects, too. For the spell's duration, you or until you use an action to touch the target and dismiss the spell, the target appears dead to all outward inspection into spells used to determine the target's status. The target is blinded and incapacitated, and its speed drops to zero. The target has resistance to all damage except psychic. Uh, if the target is deceased or poisoned when you cast the spell, it becomes deceased or poisoned while under the spell's effect. The disease and poison have no effect until the spell ends. That's what Fain Death does. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds like it's only one person. Yeah. Only one person. Okay. So I rolled that. I'm going to use my inspiration for advantage for this persuasion. Okay. That's a, okay, that's a little better. Then add a d4 to it. Yeah. Uh, 17. All right. Uh, very well. I shall. I'll allow it. Do but. It. If what you suspect, if the claims you make are true, you will not want to do this until after the trial. Because should I be dead or incapacitated, General Rothbow will take over the uh, proceedings as judge. Ah, oh, I see. So... That will also give us more time to get a clearer idea of how we want to prepare certainly. things. Now, Nitsuj, I will... Uh, he quickly pulls out a piece of parchment and scribbles something down and, like, wax it with a seal. I can give this to you for Billy Man Wes, the headmaster of the college, and he shall be able to supply you with anything you need, and if you need any assistance uh, with uh, your types of skills, he will be there for you. But in the meantime, I must move downstairs. As as he's saying this and giving the thing to Nitsich, I reach into my pack and pull out the hat of disguise, and I put it on, and I look, I turn myself into Bubo. Just... (laughs) A thought, Mr. Yoshio, you said the men saw Bubo do this. Hmm. I'm Bubo standing before you, am I not? You appear as Bubo. All the same, perhaps he was framed. Perhaps he never did any of these crimes. I'll take the hat back off. I disagree. Hmm? And Yoshio's memories he is seeing Bubo. But who's to say it wasn't someone disguised as Bubo? Well, I think that we should uh, trust and believe in in you, Your Majesty. And if if you say that that what the prisoner has done, he did, then we should take you at at your gracious word. We are guests here, and that only makes sense, right? And I look at Nitsij and I just wink really slightly. Inside check, because I got no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it, I forgot I was winking at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sweet. Three. <laughs> okay, Flirting great. with me now? Now? <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, what Your is- Majesty, in order to better protect you, um, I'm only a humble cleric, but I think it may behoove us if we spoke with, uh, if we spoke with Rothbo just to make sure that we know the proper protocol. Well, he is currently making preparations as prosecutor in Bubo's case, so again, you may speak to him in the courtroom as a witness, maybe. But how much time? It is have? time for me to prepare. Uh, thank you. The trial starts. Uh, the trial is going to be in about an hour, so he's going to go change his robes and move downstairs. Is mm-hmm. Nilka out of the room? Uh, he is turning to leave. Yes. Okay. He's I wait till he leaves. Out. Let me know when he's gone. Okay. Yep, he's gone. Closes the door. What? We need to find. We need. We need to find him. The Rothschild, Rothspo. We need to find him now. Lower, lower your voice, Starheart. Lower your voice. We need to find Rothbo. I think I, that he framed Bobo, or I that mess- he made him do these things. I message Aura, not out loud. I message her saying, "Can you use that hat of disguise to disguise yourself as Rothbone?" 
Yes, and now I have this necklace of the Lyrebird. Uh, we haven't met Rothbow yet, right? No, not no. yet. So I wouldn't know what he sounds like. Is, is uh, Yoshio in the room still with us? Yep. Um, Mr. Yoshio, um, how long have you did you serve with uh, Bugo? You you know his antics. It's only a couple of those things sounded like Bugo could do them, but we've never seen any of that stuff. He's always been a faithful fighter and and helper and, and, and good. I can assure you he has done those things. <sighs> um, I look at Yoshio and I, uh, I kind of do like a, do you want to go over there? And chat mm -hmm. movement. Do you wink at him too? No. <laughs> Just hoping he would follow on to what I was saying. Just was... winking at everyone, Starheart. I'm not winking. At... That is that is a that is a that is a. Are you in on this? Because I'm trying to let you know that what I'm doing is a ruse. Yeah, it is. That is the wink. Uh -huh. uh, actually, Andre, may I see over here? Of course. Yes. Starheart, do you want to have your sidebar? Yeah. I follow you. I kind of. Okay. Yeah. Um. Can you tell me anything else? You said the king, the king has left the room. Yes. Okay. And I'll uh, continue to use message so that I'm not okay. over. I'll, I'll and I'll send back. Yeah. Uh. Or what is your, sorry, what's your, um, what was your class? Fighter. Fighter, that's right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. My detect thoughts have worn off, by the way, so I no longer have access to his brain. Mm. So I'll continue to message her. Yes, she, he is absolutely, I'm sorry to tell you, he has committed all of these crimes, as have many others. Uh, the general has many under his thumb. He recruits young, <laughs> ignorant soldiers and has them commit crimes and then holds black and will blackmail them with that to continue to commit more of his uh, crimes, anything he has on his agenda. So he has his own private army to do these things for him. Briggs Bastards, thank you for the raid. Welcome, guys. Thanks, Thanks for the raid. Briggs Bastards. Thank Briggs you. Bastards. You cannot say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna say this next bit aloud. I'm just going to ask under my breath. Uh, why? I don't know. No. You've got to... Mm -hmm. I can't... I can't witness for you. You'll have to... find a way to... get the general to admit this. Use your truth spell. Or... The only way that I can't come out and help, otherwise I'll be charged just like Bubo. And I have so much blood on my hands, but I'm finally out of the general's thumb. And the only way I can keep my position as an advisor to the king is by keeping my mouth shut. Uh, I'm going to uh, just gently squeeze your hand to let you know that I understand. The door swings open. Uh, the king is now in long flowing robes with like a coiffed feathered collar um, and like a like a heavy hood that kind of comes over the top and feeds into that collar. <laughs> well, it is time. Uh, Yoshio, gather the prisoner and make sure he makes it to the courtroom. The rest of you may follow me. We'll be done. Uh, Danny, uh, am I seeing anything in this room that is invisible or any kind of object or anything like that in this private oh, within person. his his private room yeah. um 
it, you do see like a, like a messaging stone and things like that, but it, it doesn't look to you, to your trained eye, it doesn't look sinister. It really just looks like it's the easiest way to connect to the various spires on this island. Gotcha. It's, it's yeah. So it's just points of contact so that he can contact other heads of organizations and that sort of thing. You do note though, as you're peeking around, uh, you see a, a little uh, note that uh, it, it seems to be ongoing notes from various people sort of pinned up to a board. Um, and you keep seeing the, the, the word uh, wing feathers over and over again. Um, wing feathers and barbicels are sort of like barbicels, by the way. Um, and like lots of question marks and you can see like there's like, you know, attacks or, you know, people cornered in alleys and people uh, protesting or uh, there's graffitiing and there's, there's other sort of things happening on the island. Uh, and all of these things seem to be attributed to the wing feathers. And you're not sure, there is no understanding because they do not, the king does not understand what that means yet. Uh, he's still trying to piece it together. Interesting. Um, somebody that could be, they could be a group of, of somebody group uh, uh <laughs> i have a plan i'll uh i guess we're following the king now um i'm gonna just try and talk extremely quietly right into uh andre's ear mm -hmm. um the deal that you were presented did it seem like it had loopholes Honestly, he wasn't giving me like a contract or anything like that. It was not like the coins or anything. It was more like join our order and become powerful. So the loophole is that I bind my god more than he is currently. Well, I guess my question is, and I'm, I'm having Nitzig walk in this conversation as well, um, so if we were to feign death on the king, would that technically be fulfilling that contract, technically? I, I would say that it's enough for him to feel a disturbance, but I don't think it would end it. Maybe mm. something to do with something to do with his blood or his essence of maybe his soul yes because i i would imagine his soul wouldn't be leaving the body right. so do i do i hear this we're not trying to be loud enough for you to hear oh, okay okay yeah. i didn't yeah. i didn't and the think king I heard. is walking swiftly like he's sort of just guiding you to where you need to be but now guards have sort of fallen in line you're no longer particularly close to him he's just yeah. like this is the way follow me or not kind of thing i, I hate to say this but Bubo is the pressing matter right now. You're right. You're right. And I just, like Starheart was saying, I, I don't know how we're going to get him out of this. I have a plan. Oh. Well, uh, probably a good idea to say it to us before you try and do it on your own. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make. Uh, I keep wanting to call him something different. I'm gonna make Rothbo fall in love with me, and then he'll tell the truth. Why would that be mutually exclusive? Or mutual, uh... Go uh, on. Uh, I know I'm not here, but it's in the back of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would falling in love make someone tell you the truth? Because if you love someone, you want to tell them the truth if they ask you a question. Oh, Starheart. <laughs> Uh, I adore <laughs> you don't think that people in love don't lie to each other? Hey, if I made him fall head over heels in love with me, then if I asked him a question, and if I said, hey, our love's on the line, or I'm going to jump ship, then obviously he'll want to appease his beloved. Don't, I don't know. Well, I mean, your show just recommended you. Oh, I, didn't, I probably didn't hear that. For the um, the rest of you, as you're moving to the uh, to the room, is there are there any any other steps that you'd like to accomplish before getting there? Starheart, you, you, you would use love as an attack. 
I'm gonna put on that, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, cut into oh, Bubo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll put on that necklace of the uh, the uh, liar bird. Really We're gonna have words, Nitsish. Awesome. We're gonna have oh, words. We better after you bullshit me last game. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, we need, we clearly have unresolved issues. So Yoshio, <laughs> you've come to with keys to the jail to uh, get Bubo out of his cage. Prison Mike looks very excited to see you. <laughs> Is it happening? It's happening, right? Let's, let's go. No. It's not your time yet. <laughs> no, you're you're staying in there. Boobo. <clears throat> I'm here. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it's, it's the worst breakout ever. <laughs> he tries to dive through the bars, but you slam it in his face and he just bounces back. Oh, <laughs> I, try, I turn around and I said, I told you, it's not your time yet. Uh, he curls up and just looks like a pillow again. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You that fluffy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I met your friends. Ah, and you're breaking me out of jail. <laughs> Not exactly. Great. Listen, what what happened? The little no. What, what did Starhawk do? <laughs> hey. Listen, she knows what happened. The truth. Mostly. Really? What did you her tell thing. her? Everything? She knows about the general. Ah. Now, is this someone that we can trust to? Oh yes. The things done. It'll go better for you if you trust. If you don't trust her, and let her do something the opposite, you, 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 please just let. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> trust her, but trust the group. Don't, yes. Just be careful for her. She's she's easy to act on a whim and act very brashly. She might take things in the wrong direction unintentionally. She always means well, but you'll have to look after her. Can you just say that at the top of every night? (laughs) I get introduced. (laughs) Say that. She she means well, but. (laughs) Uh, As you finish that last sentence, Yoshio has taken you all the way to the courtroom and then you are then handled a lot more roughly by like bailiffs in the courtroom. Who Easy. Do I still have my fancy coat on? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, fabulous. watch the coat. It's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite color. <laughs> Good. What? You're going to die in it. Now come on in. I'm not going like, to die. I need another <laughs> portrait made. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they, they sit you in. Um, I, I mean, it's clearly the stand in a in a courtroom, but it, it also has that sort of bowed, almost like birdcage shape to it. Uh, there's a bit of a sweeping shape, and it's fairly comfortable, um, but it's on a rise, so you're you're visible to everyone rise. in this horseshoe-shaped room. Uh, and the king sweeps in in his robes and sits at his position, and he has a hard time looking at you, but does, as it is customary. He looks you in the eyes and gives you a slight bow. A return. Uh, and then he uh, basically brings in uh, I am uh, pleased to present the prosecution. General Clandon Rothbo, please read the charges of the prisoner. And Rothbo sweeps around the corner and you realize in the far left side of this building there is a larger door to accommodate heartbeats of officials. So you notice that the bailiffs have their own heartbeats inside, but there's like a waiting area outside. So Dumerel has not been allowed inside now that you're here in Nitsich. He is one room behind, not far enough to cause you any distress, but uh, far enough to not be a disturbance to the courtroom. Nitsich or Bobo? Sorry, Nitsich. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dumerel is also uh, in a. Uh, Dumerel is right next to you, Bubo, but uh, he is in a separate cage, so he's completely and, enclosed. And Hailstorm is not in the room. Correct. Hailstorm is one room outside, but uh, no, no, like spiritual damage to you. But Yoshio, your your heart beast is allowed to stay with you. The heart beast waiting area. Is that yeah. Mm-hmm. But Rothbo's giant like 
black heron osprey is very intimidating and looming as it is almost brushing the top of the courtroom. I am here to read charges for, please state your full name for the record. Bubo. Your full name. Bubo. Shall I say it for you? Yes. Beauregard Botan. Bubo. The court does not recognize nicknames. Child. You are here to answer for your crimes of torture of prisoners. Eight counts. Slaughter of prisoners. Ten counts. Slaughter of innocents. Four counts. Kidnapping and ransoming. Two counts. Pillaging of consecrated ground in the kingdom of Estrain. Two counts. Desertion. One count. Abandonment of royal proposal. One count. Fleeing justice for each count. Twenty-six counts. How do you plead? Hmm. That's a great question, really. Can I do half and half? My lord, your majesty, he makes a mockery of your court. Oh, jeez. Uh, thank you, Beard on a Batman. We have uh, Bubo's lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I want to be Bubo's lawyer. My cousin. My cousin is here. <laughs> 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 Never seen the movie, so you're gonna oh, be disappointed. Oh, 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 it's a good movie. Oh, but it's uh, good. Hey, okay. everybody, hold, it's, okay, hey, everybody, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hey, 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 hey. How's it going, Pesh. Vinny? How's it going, Vinny? Bubo, hey, Bubo, I mean, uh, uh, Beauregard. Hey, good, good to see you. Hey, uh, everybody, uh, don't worry, I'm uh, Bubo's, Bubo's lawyer. Bubo's uh, lawyer, uh, I made it. <laughs> Someone should have told me you were on the island. I'm still Vinny, on your books. You haven't welcome. paid me in years. Good to see you Vinny, again. Say, you're uh, here. Uh, yeah, I'm here. You're here. We're here. All right. Uh, great. So uh, he didn't do it. He claims not guilty. Yeah, that's it. The general, the king, <laughs> and every other official is just. Oh, <laughs> Vinny. Uh, um. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering if can can I um walk like step forward is that i don't know how this proceeding there the will be the um, i would say one of the bailiffs walked you all through there will be a time for for witnesses to sort of step forward and character witnesses and stuff like that so okay this this is less of that and more of a i want to um honor a tradition of my people oh sure in court hmm. I don't know what you're talking about, so just do it. Okay. Um, I, I'm wondering if I can um, uh, pull my my um, flask mm-hmm. um, and to the prosecution um, mm-hmm. uh, say, um, I was... Uh, hello, uh, your generalness. Um, yes. I, yes, uh, sir. Put it out. We're in the middle of a trial. Yes. Uh, my name is, is, is Starheart, and um, where, where I come from, uh, I, I have a, a drink before the, the 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 hearing, and wanted to know if if you two would would like to honor my tradition with a drink. Where I come from, we honor decorum. We have honor in a courtroom. But I'm not from where you are from. And if that is true that your people drink before a court, I will not dishonor your people. <clears throat> your, your honor? <laughs> and the king's like. <laughs> um, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. I put my. Oh, does, he, does he take a drink? He's about to. I have a. I, I, I get it. I know what's happening. 
Oh, Hold what? on to your butts. <laughs> what? What? Nothing. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> I'm making. I'm going through with the plan. Okay. I mean, no. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, okay. meanwhile, while this is happening, I'm giving like stern eyes to Yoshio, saying. She's to look after her. <laughs> Watch this one. Like all the pointing without the pointing that I can do. All the cartoon arrows go ding, 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 yes. ding, ding, ding. Like, <laughs> so does he make a save or does it just happen? Uh, you gave me it. It's just a potion. I did. Sure, yep, I did. it's right here. All it says is love potion. I put a heart next to it. I can. Oh. <laughs> Like, to you, little one. And yours? Yes. I spit it back out. Now, as the prosecution was... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I thought you were watching her. Uh, I thought we were. I thought it was just a, a um, thing that she was planning, not actually going to do. I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn Yoshio. and say, "Guys, it's okay. I'm saving Pooh." Message him. What did she just do? Message Pooh. Um, what did meet she me do? after the court? Hmm? Oh, I, I, I'm a. Oh well, I'm afraid. I might need a certain verdict. <laughs> you slut. <laughs> Try to save Bubo's fucking life, okay? You just shut up. Oh. Shut up. Keep telling yourself that. I'm trying to say, I figured <laughs> what is in my arsenal? I can't just do a weapon. I don't have a, tr I don't have a truth serum on me. I have a love potion. I'll use I'll it. Make sure you I'll be right back. Well, I'm not the judge, you see, so I have to go yell about that man. Wait, I'll be right back. Boop. <laughs> Boop. You have some truth. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Mm. Um, Yoshio. Chat, Starheart's not a slut. <laughs> Is she? <laughs> the prosecution will call its first <laughs> witness. Uh, Yoshio Midori Me, please take the stand. <laughs> Yoshio, <clears throat> now, you have served under me for quite a long time, only recently leaving my care. Is it true that Bubo has committed every single one of the sordid crimes on this list? It is true, General. Thank you, Yoshiro. Oh, sorry, Yoshiro. Hmm. Now, and you are aware that all of the items that he has done are against our laws? I am aware, General. Good. And then let it be known to everyone. And he turns around again. He sees Starheart again. And let it be known to everyone. <gasps> One. That. Uh. <laughs> May I please speak, sir? Uh, the prosecution would love to call a character witness. <laughs> Yoshio, you may step down. Um, I'm volunteer as a character witness for Bubo. Mm -mm. That one. <laughs> Can I remind me if I cast Zone of Truth? Do people know if they've been truthed? If they uh, fail? Do they uh, should say it in their D and D Beyond? Um, on a failed, let's see. I know whether each creature succeeds. Oh, an affected creature is aware of the spell. Mm hmm. He's also a little discombobulated at the moment. I can make so. it work, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, I do that. I cast Zone of Truth. Certain try. Okay, so now he's gonna... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? What? 
Oh, oh, to be. oh, how does it feel, Danny? How does it feel? Sorry, I'm oh, really yeah. into it. Doesn't it right feel now. great. Does not feel good. <laughs> it's not how I expected this scene to go. Thank you, chap. Oh, I know. Oh, do you want me to change what I'm? No, do I need no to... never. Do your okay. thing. Play you the game. Can't... Sorry, but I know if you have a plan, I don't want to disrupt it. Oh, please. It's a plan. It's I have hopes. Okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Talk, Improvise. talk to Ryan about that. He knows. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> um, Plans don't matter. Play the game. Uh, so I bat my lashes uh, clumsily. Can I roll for flirtation, please? Uh, make a performance check. Thank you. <laughs> he already please. loves you. Oh, that's so. not bad. I just want to see 15. I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so he's like... <laughs> Mm. So, <laughs> is, that, mm. is that anything that you could say in defense of that little squirrel over there? Oh yes, I would. I would love if you could tell me and the entire courtroom that you put those, that you asked Bubo to do those things, and then held it over his head like the slug bag you are. <laughs> I... Did you do that? Yes or no? <clears throat> Cause he's <laughs> huh? oh, come on. Oh, and the, are you looking for the book or what? Sorry. Hmm? What, were, did you have a question? Uh, no. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to tell the king that I ordered Bubo to do all of those things. I, I did. I, I did. I. <laughs> I did. Oh, there, rest. there. Well, uh, there you go. I, I rest my case, Your Honor. Uh, uh, shall we lock up the monster? The, this, this douchebag over here. Can we, uh, can we, uh, guards anybody? <laughs> uh, everyone's just like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Your Majesty, I would like to put it to this room that Bubo did commit these deeds but he did not do so willingly. He did them because he was being blackmailed by your general. And I'm very sorry to let you know this, but I feel uh, it's important. I second that, your honor. If yes, I and, I, and I and I third it. Well, you initiated that, Starheart, so you don't need to third that. It's- Bobo, let me support you. Yep. I'm gonna try and uh, very oh. carefully inch, inch up behind uh, Starheart. <laughs> Kerp yeah. Kern. Thank you for oh, the donation. Is that a DM reroll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is. <laughs> I think I need one. <laughs> You're Danny's new favorite person. Never mind, she's on the stand. Oh, I don't know if I'm actually yeah. on the stand. I think I'm just in the... No, I think you're I'm still just... on... Yeah, you're on the stand. Oh, okay. I'll just kind of gesture to her, like... Um, as, as everyone's kind of silent and the king is listening to you, uh... Uh, may, uh, hmm, who would be close? Actually, it would be the guards, so two seconds. Okay. Uh, and Starheart, you notice that as soon as this is slipped, even though he's looking longingly at you, you can tell uh -huh. he's sort of backing away to the left side of the courtroom. Oh, yeah, I figured as much he would. <laughs> um, left uh, side? Yeah, I, um, I did. And, like, every time he admits something, he's like, what the is happening. Um, <laughs> I, I ordered them to kill everyone so that I could control their entire lives. Why? Oh, you beautiful... And oh. he sweeps. He leaps into the air. He does a spin and he lands on the back of his creature. And you hear him yell into the darkness, I take the deal! <gasps> oh, and you just hear... There's a sort of like black lightning prickling around and his bird's feathers begin to like <sighs> ruffle up and he himself, his eyes go dark and his skin begins to like thicken and get a little rubbery as his fingers extend and his jaw begins to protrude forward. I've seen this before. Oh <laughs> well, this is not good. What's I going on? I to rule this place from the side, but now I'll have to rule it from the front. Everyone out. Guards, your general commands you. Me, Starheart General. Please, leave that man. No. That's not how this works. Protect the king. 
Uh, let's roll initiative, Jay. <laughs> oh! oh, thank you, oh, Valen. Oh, my shit. Mm. Uh, Valen, thank you for that. Oh. Three rolls, what? one group blessing, and a monster drop. Oh, oh how? how? Okay. <laughs> Valen, thank you so much thank for the donation. Thank you, Valen. Well, whose who's re-rolls are they? Are they group re-rolls? I think they're, or they ga- I think they're yeah. Okay. Yes, so group re-rolls, a group blessing, and a monster. So we're at okay. three, oh, three group blessings. Thanks, Valen. We should five. be at three group re-rolls and three group blebs. Ble- ble- what? <laughs> no. Three group blebs. <laughs> group blebs. We should be at three and three. I love no, it's group two and five. <laughs> it's two and five? Yeah. Great. Well, I was I just gonna say, like, that works way too easily. I know, oh, wait, right. this is the torque. This is the, the wrench. In the <laughs> Great well, for what? Good. I'm gonna need all these rerolls to get out of this mess. Danny, am I still like cuffed and in cage and stuff? You are. And oh probably... no, you're not. You're not cuffed. Dumeril is in a cage. Okay. You were on the stand, and now you're sort of just on a bench. Great. You're, you're guarded, but at the moment, you're not anyone's concern. And I'm assuming I don't have anything, right? No, your weapons would have been stripped from you. Great. Um, hmm. Yeah. Can I throw him a weapon? Sure, there's on chaos, but turn. yeah, probably on your turn. So yeah, what's everybody's, uh, yeah. what did everybody get? <laughs> Miss Crystal, definitely. Oh, I need a roll. Um, eight. Fifteen. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Fifteen was Sir Hart? Yeah. Next one was? Ten for Andre. Ten for Andre. Next up. Uh, 15 also for Nitsage. I have a plus one. Okay. Start. Three. Oh, sorry. Three. Oh, I had okay. 15. Mm-hmm. Right, what's your what's your initiative? I had 15. Uh, what's, what's your, your bonus? initiative bonus? What's your bonus? Because you're tied. We're trying to figure out who's going Oh, over. I don't have a bonus. Okay. So it's plus zero? Yep. All right, so Nitsage. Okay. Uh, aura. Uh, eight. Eight. Yeah, it was a natural one. <laughs> <clears throat> Get that out of the way right now. Mm. Um. You see, up. mine's a five. Sorry. A oh, five. Sorry. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is that my theme song every time I go to the <laughs> Danny, Danny, boo boo. Okay, when am I <laughs> when am I meeting a bard to get me my own theme song to go with my boo 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 boo? Get Morthos back up in here. Yes. Uh, so Rothbo is gonna go first. Um, and the first thing he's going to do uh, this is to uh, apply our wonderful, beautiful monster drop. Thank you, chat is he's going to like slam his heels into his heart beast and it just like <laughs> makes this horrible shriek and then through the right wall of the courtroom a much larger bird not a heart beast but this sort of just monster of a bird just cracks its head inside and begins to claw with its talons to fit in like its entire body is the height and width of the wall is and it's going to start something? snapping at people uh, like a rock um, yeah, very similar yes um, okay. um so Rothbo, that's not even his turn yet that's just the thing that he's doing um he's going to all right. Whoop, whoop. You can see him kind of like sniffing. He's like, <laughs> and he sees you, Nitsage, and he's going to try and uh, banish. <laughs> you trying to banish me? Yeah. Get a spell, bitch. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> Where's the shirt? Might. Where's the Yo, shirt? Man. There does need to be a counter spell shirt. So bad. <sighs> all right, all right. Uh, actually, hold on. I've got. I've got Ring of Spell turning. Oh, you! Oh shit, you do. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, I have advantage on saving throws. That's all. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna try that spell turning out because I wasn't quite prepared for it. So at least I can do as fast enough to get my my hand up. Mm-hmm. So think. Yeah. Okay. I'll try so, that. Charisma saving throw. Yeah. Oh. If I roll a twenty, it goes back on him. Mm-hmm. Do we have a root blessing? Oh, we have a re-roll? Yeah. We have two blessings. All right, all right. We got a lot of re-rolls. All right, all right, here we go. Let's try it out. Here we go. You got this. Cool. I'm going to use a re-roll. <laughs> I'm going to use a re-roll, and I'm going to use my portent of 17 mm-hmm. uh, as my roll. All right. Uh, so yeah, you feel it like wash over you for a second. You feel like you're about to be tugged from this plane and then you're <laughs> like, you're able to shrug it off pretty quickly. I saw it um, coming. <laughs> uh, and then he, he kicks his creature once again and he goes straight for King Nilka. Um, and so his bird is going to make a beak attack. Hey. Oh, thank you, TP. Hey, role play. Hey, role play. Thank you. Hello, Raid. Hi, Raiders. Thank you. Hi. Hey. Hey. My, my chat stopped up. There we are. TPK role yeah, play. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Welcome, We're friends. down. We're yelling timber. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hooray. This is going to hurt the king. No. Oh, um, oh. All right. We're clerics. Oh, oh, okay, Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh, my oh. gosh. What? 13 rerolls for Danny? <laughs> and and I just... didn't even read that part. What? And a catastrophe? Uh, what? And one blessing. Um, <laughs> and somewhere at the end of all this, you all get broaden horizons. So, yeah. hooray. Or at the oh, end or in the middle of this. Thank oh, you. Oh, um, yeah. Shen- that's Paris. gonna change oh quite gosh, a bit. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Paris. Oh shit. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> so Valid. I'm a le- Paris. Jay? Paris, you son of a bitch. I don't think the odds are ever in our favor right now, guys. <laughs> we haven't even had a turn yet. <laughs> the um <laughs> And I thought Beard on a Batman was a problem, and here comes yeah, right? out, of, out of left field. Paris from the three throw! Switch! Oh my god, what the fuck thank you? Mm. Um, yeah, so he actually is going to get a crit on the king, and that was without Karis' help. Oh, uh, no he's not. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to use my uh, ability, Cameras Sentinel at Death's Door. No, yes, yes. Critical is canceled. So it's just a hit. Just a Fine. hit. Fine. Fine. Lovely. Thank you. I love. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking magic people. Um. <laughs> Cleric. <laughs> Next. No, you heard him right. It's fucking magic people. Fucking magic people. <laughs> FM people. FM people. Mm-hmm. 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 Sarah White says half court throw and Karis made it. That's a full court throw. That was not that is, that <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was just like swing. Yeah, he was in the stands. He's like, yeah, I can make that. <laughs> <laughs> like that the second attack good. also hits. And that is a little bit more. I'm sorry, this is a really late joke, but if their FM people are the other ones AM. Yes. <laughs> Uh, oh man. Okay. Um. So what came? What's what's the four hundred dollar land? Huh? What's the four hundred dollar one? Is it? Did we hit four? Miracle. Uh, no. no. Is it? Is it three hundred miracle? Three hundred. No. Three hundred is real bad shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Four hundred is past three hundred. Four hundred is, is catastrophe. Uh, Two hundred was catastrophe. Two hundred is broaden horizons. Three hundred is yes. catastrophe. Four hundred is miracle. Stop that. So miracle it is. She got it. So we need a hundred dollars. So the king, like in a blink of an eye, this cursed heart beast just darts out. The beak stabs directly into his chest. A talon comes up over the over the desk pew. What the fuck is it called? Uh, the judge's table and just breaks across his chest and just blood everywhere mm. um and i just kind of like put up my hand to try and well. stop as much of it as i can mm. uh nitsage it is your turn 
Wow. It's called the seat. Oh no, the bench. It's called the mm. bench. I had to look it up. Mm. Approach the bench. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yep. Oh dear. Uh, oh yeah. Um. Shit. And <laughs> I want to. What's the layout of all this? Are we in? We're in a. How big is this room? How? What's the the dimensions of where we're at, Daniel? Let me draw it real quick. Oh, okay. pictures! Yes. Pictures. We're going back on D twenty. Oh, wait. Yeah. or roll twenty, <laughs> whatever. Mm-hmm. At, least, at least I saved the king a little bit of health points because a critical on him would have not been fun. I just, my plan went off flawlessly, so that's the first time that's happened. <laughs> it really, did. yeah, I was I had a plan and it did it. No, I was also oh, shocked. No. Oh no, it's too bright. Just, just hold it close, hold it close and let it focus. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, it, like, right it doesn't here. autofocus. It's the DSLR that doesn't do that. Um, We'll just uh, text it to us. Yeah, can, you, will... can you put it in the messenger? Yeah. <laughs> Reed H says, thank you, though. That drawing is great, Danny. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, this is going to take so much time. Danny, Danny uh, can, yeah. people, are people running out of the, the courtroom? They, <laughs> I would can't. hope so. <laughs> is oh. it? Oh. The main entrance was that left side, and then there's a smaller door on the right oh. side, but that is now blocked by a giant bird blocking the other side. So there's two giant birds in this room. One is underneath. Stopping. They're stopping all exits. Yes. Did the Correct. bird, when he did the, the beak thing and the claw, is that through, who is that to? The king. The king, oh, why? How many people are in this room altogether? How? 20, Total, I mean, there are, I would say, about a dozen citizens just kind of sitting in the stands watching the uh, watching everything happen. Um, and then there are two other guards besides Yoshio inside. Uh, they're going to go at the end of the round. Um, and yeah, the king himself and all of you. It, it was a fairly small court turnout. Uh, I'm sending that to you. It's really bad, um, but enjoy. Where are you sending that to? Uh, the Facebook Messenger. That. Should have sent it to everybody. Uh, so basically, the the arc bit are the seats. Uh, the little circles are all of you. Uh, circle behind the box is the king. Uh, and actually, uh, two of you, I think, Starheart, you should be in the smaller stand. And then Bubo should be next to you in the other longer, okay, narrow yeah, box. Yeah. King is in the stand. Uh, that is what's his bucket on the bird, which is now right in front of that uh, where the king is. Roth. Okay, I would like to. I'd like to make a beeline for the king mm -hmm. using my movement, and I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to jump using my Quileer uh, feature to jump up behind the bench. Uh, lickety split. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to cast invisibility on the king. Okay. Mm -hmm. As I touch him, I'm going to say, um, get out of harm's reach. I will do my best. Um, I can see him because I still have, I will have the invisibility sight to the, uh, to a long rest. Mm -hmm. uh, and that will be my action. And I don't have a bonus action, so I'm there. All right. Uh, Star, it is your turn. Um, I am going to give, I'm going to go over to Bubo. Um, and I am going to give Bubo, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm I'm gonna give you um, my shield, which is plus two armor, 
And I'm gonna give you my gun. The blunder, bu- the blunder blush. I hope I know how to use that. I, I'll, I'll, I'll um, I'm gonna send you the deets right now. <clears throat> so check your messages. Hooray! Hooray! I mean, you normally use range weaponry, right? You're... Yeah, that's a magical gun, though. It's true. Would you rather uh... have a dagger? <laughs> I mean, you're ranged, though, so. I, I would rather have my own weapons. Thank you. Well, this is what I have, and we're kind of in a pickle. <laughs> Are you going to make any sort of attack? You can try. Or um, yeah, it... sorry, it was just I was typing to Andrew. Um, the instructions. Uh, yes, um, I'm also going to uh, cast banishment. On the big evil. There are three big evils in the room. Which is the uh, evilest? Uh, evilest is probably Rothbo. Biggest is definitely the large, monstrous bird that just came inside. Uh, table talk. Which one do you guys think we what need to kill it? first? The that, that's Rothbo. my gaming, right? Uh, Rothbo. <laughs> I want that one. That's what I banish. Okie dokie. Oh, I'm um, going to fail this. You have a million rerolls. F. <laughs> I need you. Son of a fart <laughs> nugget. Okay. Um. Actually, I don't have rerolls for myself. My rerolls, I have to force onto you guys. So. Oh, that's terrible too. <laughs> yeah, banish. Banish. I. I... As I as I look up, <laughs> Wait, as I look up to him, uh, as I put the king down and I start to look up toward Rothbone and I see uh, Starheart do that, I uh, get a split second view of of what could happen, and I give him a four <laughs> for my second four. Yeah. Yeah, the second you started talking, I knew exactly what was happening. <laughs> this is coming in clutch. Um, so a couple things happen very quickly when you do this. Um, so you, uh, or shoot, was it Bubo or was it you? Maybe it's happened to both of you at this point. But uh, you've you've sent Rothpo to another plane of existence, but his heart beast has been left behind. Mm. So his heart beast is now ferociously, like in insane amounts of pain and uh, just is suffering and is going to lash out blindly. Uh, so that's going to be a reaction on its part. And it uh, it lashes out with one of its talons, uh, not at anything in particular, but it you see it just rake directly through two of the citizens who are just in the pews and they're, they're dead, they're sliced. Okay. Um, but it is now like a frenzied beast that is just going to panic and flip out until his master returns. Um, hooray. It's now the monster's turn. Hooray. Did my banishment do anything? Hmm? Yeah, banished him. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I wasn't clear he what went. happened. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know. Now it's concentration, isn't it? Yes. Or is it not? Okay. It's control. It's a, it's, it, yeah, it yeah concentration. concentration, it's a minute. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, hop to it. Uh, so this creature has lost sight of the king, um, but it is going to make, it's going to try and attack the closest thing, which is Bubo currently. Of course. Uh, yeah, you're there. <laughs> At least I, ga- I gave you a shield. Oh, boy. Yeah, what does it give me? Plus two? Plus, yeah, um, plus two armor. armor. Yeah. Armor class? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then whatever shields do, like, hold it in front of That's your... That's a... Eight. Works. 20 and a 21 to hit. Both will, hit. Will those both hit? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this- 27 piercing damage as a beak just rakes your side as he's, he's still struggling to get in. It w- almost wasn't even an attack. He's just trying to get purchase on something to pull the rest of his massive body inside mm-hmm. this chamber. Um, and then the second attack. Oh, good lord. 
uh, uh, 19 slashing damage uh, from his talons as he scrapes the rest of the way inside. So now half of this chamber is occupied by this enormous beast. Um, and that will, that's its turn. Andre, it is your turn. Perfect. I am going to first cast a bonus action of Sanctuary on the king, which means I ward him against uh, any attacks against him. Um, if a creature Andre tries to did. make a, a attack against him, it must make a wisdom saving throw, and if it fails, it has to choose a new, a new target, including spells. Andre, did to see him? I don't. <laughs> Oh. Nice. Okay. Um, cool. Okay, so that's what I do for that bonus action. Then I will have to cast a cantrip as my action. Ooh, sacred flame. All right. Um, I'm going to shoot a sacred flame at the heart beast of Rothbone. And it's he needs to make a dexterity 15 saving throw. He makes it. Well, shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, okay. oh, man. Uh, yeah, there's, no, there's you're no... It's a cantrip, so there's no half damage or anything. But the king is protected. <laughs> okay. All right. And this bird's massive, right? Like, is his head yeah. down where the king is, or is it back up? Uh, Rothbow's heart beast is, he was where the king was, uh, but the second Rothbow got um, banished, he's just basically like flailing, flailing around trying to find him. So he's still in the center of the room. The oh. larger one, however, is taking up the entire right half of this building. So uh, Starheart and Bubo, you've now been sort of pushed more centrally to the room as it envelops the rest of this space. So many things. Uh, okay. Uh, is there anything around the heart beast's, like, head, like, ten feet around his head, or is he just, like... Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm trying to cast something, but I don't want to hit, like, the king if it's near... Oh, no, his... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, his head is, is high off the ground. So, yeah, oh. you, there would be no one in the path of that. All right, I'm gonna cast haste on myself, and then I'm going to cast shatter on the heart beast. Mm -hmm. So can you give me a con save? You're trying to beat 15. Oh, but you have freaking 50 million rerolls. No, he doesn't. Needs. He can make us okay. reroll. Oh, that's right. But okay, half damage is fine. So 3d8. Mm -hmm. I keep that. Keep that. Savage attack. This one. Oh, really good. Okay, uh, 16, three, uh, uh, 23 halved. So is that, how do you do that? 12? Oh, 11 or 12? Uh, maybe 11. Okay, 11. Oh, points, the... yeah. 11 points of, uh, how many damage is that? Uh, thunder damage, I think. Cool. <laughs> yeah, just and just adding to this poor creature's headache. It is suffering. Uh, hooray! So, uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't say if it has to, it makes the save. A creature made of inorganic material such as stone, crystal material has disadvantage on it. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 never mind. Okay. Uh, and then with my movement, I'm going to start heading for the, I should have enough speed to get to it, head to the heart beast. And uh, free action, pull out the dagger and try and get a stab in. Okay. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Not going to be a lot of damage. Three points of piercing damage. Sweet. Okay. Cool. All right, uh, on to Bubo. You're now armed with the blunder blush and you have a shield. The blundy bush. And yeah. you're, you're... Um, yeah. 
What's closest to me now? I mean, the thing, that big old, the, the monster drop's taking up a majority of the space, you said, yeah. correct? Yeah, and it just attacked you and has now pushed you toward the center yeah. of the room. So that's definitely the, the most it's imminent right threat there. to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I like knew what I wanted to do and then like I kept searching and I have, now have more options and I'm like uh, <laughs> it's too many things you're too hurting pretty things. bad right uh, yeah Okay. I okay. certainly am uh, okay. be- below half of my health okay. um, if I wild shape I assume the stats of that creature, does that include the armor class, even though it's lower than my current armor class? I believe yeah. so, yes. Yeah. Me too, right. Me too. Ryan, these questions might also be for you. Mm. Yeah. On wild shaping. Um, <laughs> Mosquito. And then, mm. and then once, like, if I run out of hit points on that wild shape, I just revert to myself. Correct. Mm hmm. Okie dokie. Yikes. Okay, I'm going to try this first. I'm going to cast uh, Entangle on the creature right in front of me. Okay. Uh, it, let uh, me... Sorry, let me see. make sure it's not... It doesn't change with levels, which it doesn't. Okay. Oh, what about... Um, strength saving throw, please. Strength saving throw. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, that is a 22. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> it gets a plus nine to strength. It's a big boy. Yeah, I guess. That was worth a shot. Mm-hmm. Um, then let's do... Sorry, action bonus. Uh, oh, bonus action hunters mark uh, him, I guess. Oh. And that's all, that's all I can do. All right, Yoshio, you're up. Right. Take the take my long sword, and I'll go up to the heart beast, and I'm going to use my what is this is saying fighting spirit. Flanking, get in the flanking position with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm use my fighting spirit so I get advantage on all of my attacks. Oh, you don't even need it. So. Twenty-two to hit. That'll hit. Oh. Alright. Uh, five damage. For that first attack. Second attack. Natural twenty. Um. You Reroll do? that, please, with one of my mini ah. DMs. Oh, 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 blessings? We have group blessings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got yeah, it. We're blessing to save it. On it. And then he can't repeat. So put a D6 on it, roll a D6. Here's a group blessing. And add that to your natural 20, because then it protects it from his reroll. Six. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. So we use that will hit. Instead. That will hit, and I can't touch it. But oh my, I have such the stockpile. I'm <laughs> so excited. Gosh, dang it. Uh, just so we just do devils. We don't do James like, it. like so, Deb James I, would say, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad right now. Man, <laughs> Deb James. <laughs> Ten points of slashing, and for what? Ah, another natural twenty. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Re- roll it. Oh uh, no! <laughs> do we have a two more left? Yeah, just do it. Do it. Add a d6 on there. <laughs> good. Good. Burn Where are you going? Oh my god. <laughs> Good. I've never okay. rolled a six on my blessings, like ever. What the hell? And he gets two in a row. Uh, Welcome, new guy. <laughs> uh, another ten oh, points of flashing damage. Another ten, and that's double. That's with your. Yeah, I rolled a three. Yes. Oh, 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 sorry. I'm telling you, we gotta change it up. Change that that system up. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad Deadly Nightshade was in the chat for that. Ah. <laughs> I'm so Cunning. mad, you guys. I'm so, mad. so mad. So mad, you guys. <laughs> All right. That'll be my turn. Perfect. All right, so the other guards are now finally going to get to take their turn. Oh, no. Uh, one did terribly and completely misses. He, like, stabs through the feathers and gets no meat. Um, but the second one does hit uh, the larger of the two creatures. Does some, some good damage. He, like, 
hooks this pike like up under a wing and he pulls it in and starts to yank down. You see a little spurt of blood as he pulls it. Uh, Shrieks a bit. Uh, Hooray. Hooray. And um, we're back up to the top. It's now, oh gosh. Well, Rothbow's still gone. Uh, So it's his heart beast's turn. Does he make a Um, saving throw at all? While he's there? Uh, That's a good question. Andre says no. No, it's just a minute, right? Unless unless her concentration is broken, right. I think, right? Yeah, and then I am, pop back in. I am a font of concentration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to do... All right, so he's going to attack. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Distraction, distraction. So it's uh, starting to calm itself a little bit, and now it's looking around the room. Uh, and it's going to spot, let's see, Nitsage. I think you were the, cl- are you also invisible, Nitsage, or you just made the king invisible? I just made him invisible. Okay, so he's going to come after you. I didn't invisible myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I would have um, came at it the second I would have made a spell. So that will hit. Um, and then. Is he coming after me? He's, he's coming after you. I'm behind the bench. Does that matter at all? Yeah. <laughs> you can just go <laughs> underneath it. He's big. Uh, so that's, that's 26 piercing damage as he just stabs at you with his face. And that just also happens to have a razor sharp beak. Nah, kind of spell. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. Uh, and then, uh, and now it will also sweep with its talons at you and it misses. Very angry. 26 is that first damage? Yes. Thank you. Um, I would also like to take this moment to remind everyone that blessings can be used to heal uh, should you get to that very close to death point, which I smell coming. Wait, um, blessings, blessings can be used to heal? I'm yeah. going oh, to no. see it. Oh, my God. I thought she was being I was going to murder I, you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an ictil. <laughs> ah, that's what it is. Oh, no, one of these days, oh, Danny is just going to be like, nom, nom, his so fist is just going to come through my screen. Oh, don't doubt him. He'll make it happen. Oh, no, <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Uh, Nitsage, it is now your turn. All right. I'm so sorry, but I have to. So there's one in front hey, of me. Thank you Thanks, Dragon. Oh, thank, thank you for the, for the cheers. cheers. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. And he says, and that's for a blessing because he can't do PayPal. So we'll, oh, we'll accept that. Thank, thank you very you much. So much. That's thank so you so much, Dragon. You. Thank you. Yay. I have to roll a concentration check to keep invisible. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let me see if that's a thing. Is it concentration? But uh, It is sorry, concentration. Sorry. I need to roll to see if my invisibility is wiped out. So it's. Half of 26, right? Which is 13. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, with a con- it's a constitution save, right? Is that what I'm rolling for? Uh, that's a I nightmare. remember you had two DM inspirations. Right, I used that one. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, nine, <laughs> all right. I it. He comes in out of invisibility. <laughs> Poop. <clears throat> well. He's still protected, so the, though. The king is back. <laughs> Where is Hailstorm? Out? Hailstorm is, uh, so he's like a room. He's behind the seats. So there's like an entrance to the left, an entrance to the right, and then sort of like around the corner, there is a secondary room where the, the other heart beasts are stored. Stored? He's... What? He's well, not like chained so, down or anything. So yeah. my thing is, we have a, a link, right? So if he knows I'm in distress, can he make his movement to try to get out of that room and come and help? Yeah. So he's going to go first, if that's okay. Mm-hmm. My turn. Uh, how far do you think he can get on his movement? Uh, on this turn, he could make it halfway there i think he, he could be in the room by your next turn Whoa, and then and then uh, guarding that door is a bird yeah so that the door that he would come in would be the left side door which currently has the heart beast that just attacked you interesting would he be able 
Uh, would it be possible for him to unleash his uh, dragon breath? You know what? He's going to try it out. We're going to try this. I don't want to ask too much. Hailstorm's going to come uh, as close as he can before getting into the room. And he's going to unleash the fire breath. Uh, what kind of door is it? Is it like a wooden door? Is it a stone door? What? It's a wooden door. He's going to try and unleash his fire breath to basically blast that door open and try and hit the creature that I'm, that he's, you know, that I'm telling him that's in front of this door. Okay. Sure. I'll to, yeah. He's yeah, like, roll, roll for that attack. Okay. He's going see to how much the door can withstand. Sure. <laughs> uh, it is a dexterity saving oh. throw. For, <laughs> for a door? Okay. Uh, well, how much uh, damage would it do? It's a, it's a, it's a, if it, if it fails. How much damage? If it's a right. fail, it's 24 points of fire damage. You like the door? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Those doors are fucking toast. There's <laughs> the, the doors. Uh, doors. <laughs> yeah, so they the doors burst open with flames, and they start to lick tapestries and stuff on their way in. So now that, that side of the wall is currently on fire, but it's above anyone. It's more. Did it hit the bird damage. at all? No, it didn't reach that far. Bird? Mm. Ah, it mostly caught the doors, swung those open, and the doors caught the the tapestries. But the doors are that's out. wonderful, Daniel. That's wonderful. Here's what I'm gonna do. Hey, that that bird. Uh, actually, the 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 king the king is there. I mm-hmm. see the king, and I look out into the room, and I see what's since he's blew the door open. I can see out into the room, the other room, right? I'm casting arcane gate. Under the king. What? And I'm going to have him drop in it and come out the other side into the room away from all this. Ooh, portal. I'm going to portal, yeah, portal him out of there. Yeah. Okay. Portal. Uh, should I get my portal gun for this? Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. I guess. Is there anything that has to be done for that or it just happens? No, I just I pick a spot on the ground and choose two points that I can see within 500 feet. It's a 10 foot diameter thing. Uh, yeah, 10 feet from me. I'm sure that he's not that mm-hmm. far away. Uh, the two dimensional, yeah. As it as it passing through, nothing. You know. Just yep. Just comes out. Yep. yep. So he's now out in the hallway. <laughs> Um, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Starheart, it's your turn. Who's, who's still in the room? Uh, both of the enemies are currently in the room. Okay. Uh, so your concentration is still being used to keep okay. uh, Rothbow out of this plane of existence. So, um, can I even do anything? It. If I'm concentrating? Uh, so if you check your spells, there'll be that little black C and a diamond that'll tell you whether or not it's a concentration spell. Uh, yeah. So you would, if you want to use anything, you want to use one that does not have that on it. Because if you use another concentration spell, it'll cancel out the one you're concentrating on. So you're basically shifting your focus from one thing to the other, so you'd let that other thing go. Why is everything concentrated? <laughs> you're not- um, it's like you're concentrated! <laughs> <laughs> I cast. Yeah. Um, I cast spiritual weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so slosh, slosh, um, slosh. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, oh, that does not. No. Uh, oh well, I mean, yep. maybe. Uh, how's a thirteen look, Danny? Thirteen to hit. How's how's that there looking? Hmm? Not too hot. Not too what hot. If I, what if I? What if I? What if I add uh, that there blessing? I got one blessing. It's a possibility. Are you attacking the rock, the larger bird, or the heart beast bird? The the um the, the evilest, the one I the one I the uh, fart heart rock. beast. Yeah, the heart beast. The heart beast. Rothbow's heart beast. Cool. Yeah, the heart beast. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, it's this blessing, the triangle. Mm, nope, D six. Oh. The square. Yes. 
So a, a D4 is like a normal oh. blessing that is within the game rules. Our blessing is a little bit. I got a bad blessing. Mm -hmm. Um, can I, I a one? Uh, you, so, 15, so that puts it to 15, 15, 15. 15. That'll hit. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Um, so I hit <laughs> it went over the head with my tankard or over the beak, maybe. Um, Bong. and I do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, sharp step. Six, 11, 12, 13, 14. The triangle one. The triangle bosh. 21 damage. 21 star Ooh. heart damage. That thing is stronger than I remember. Um, good. 66 if I do it at third level. Oh. Shit. Uh, yeah, you hear like the bong of your uh, bong of your uh, of your uh, fuck, spiritual weapon uh, is followed by the, the sound of a crack as it Ooh. hits and you can you can hear the like the light bones of this bird splitting as the uh, as it hits. It's not down, but it's definitely a hit, and it starts to like lose its balance, and uh, it starts to shuffle a little bit to the side. Uh, it is now the king's turn, uh, and he is going to. Uh, he stands up and kind of. He's still holding his wounds, and he starts to try and like crawl away. And he's signaling for guards to come and take him, and they do. Like immediately, they swoop from the hallway because they weren't able to get in before. Uh, so they just brush the hallway. You see them pick him up and start to lead him uh, like back upstairs towards his tower. Um, and that's kind of his thing. Now it's time for the big birdie. Uh, big bird is... <laughs> big bird. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, not the big bird. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, the big bird, but not the, not the big not bird. Not that big bird. <laughs> not that big bird. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be um let's see I mean I don't know why I'm shocked it's gonna do the same two things it did before uh who is Ubo you have you moved away at all no oh buddy. <laughs> It's gonna be rough um, hi everybody no, no! Do, does a does a 21 hit oh yeah <laughs> okay uh, righty. No. But he cast banishment on the rock. Was it too big? Uh, that is uh thirteen piercing damage, which is not so bad considering. No, it, considering what you did last time, it's not so bad. <laughs> And now for the second attack. <laughs> oh, <there it> is. <laughs> oh my gosh! Really? Ah, ah, ah. Oh man. Uh, so, uh -huh. 17 um, oh. slashing damage. And now you are grappled. <laughs> right. He's got you in his talon and just, uh. mm, he's pushing you into the ground. Goodness. I want to know what your health is. It's not updating on the stream. So it's I one. Gee. Cool. It is oh, one, one hit point, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Yipe. Okay, Danny, I'll I'll be your team. All right. Okay. Uh, Guile or Gie, uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um. So Andre, blessings you're up. You. Blessings you. Yeah, and it bounds blessings you. Blessings you. <laughs> Sharp Sharp says, "I only produce non-caltrop D4s for those reasons. Those are far superior, in my opinion. I like them a lot. I have my oh, where'd it go? I don't know, Sharp Steph. Is that true? <laughs> ATs, ATs. Um, uh, gonna say this is my <laughs> this is my other D4. It's my little Zelda one. Yes, super cute. Tell me if it's true, Sharp Steph. <laughs> call me out. Call me out. <laughs> Is it? Is that, was that was a past me. me, a dark me. So for those of you who haven't figured it out, Sharp Steph made her dice, and they're fucking gorgeous. So they are so pretty. Look at them. On things and find your stuff. Look at them. Uh, Andre, have you decided what you're doing yet? Um, I'm just reading books. What you doing, buddy? Huh? It's your turn. I know. You just told oh, okay. me. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, so crickets back. Two seconds. Oh yeah, I've got a cricket too. Destroy it. They're so cool. Super cool. Yeah. Yes. So cool. 
Super cool. Um, seeing that the king is faced basically out of the way currently, I'll, I'll let that be, but I'm going to run over to, to uh, Bubo, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at third level. So I gotta touch ya. Touch me, baby! Touch ya. You heal 19 hit points. Yay! That is helpful, mm -hmm. thank you. And then I am there now, and I'm scared because there's a giant birdie. Um, and I'm gonna, so that was a spell. I can only cast a cantrip. Uh, he mm -hmm. needs to make a dexterity saving throw of 15. He does. And this is the, uh, sorry, the heart beast? Or the bigger one, the rock? This is the one that's attacking Bubo. Okay. Uh, and he needs to make a what now? Dexterity 15 save. Dex, oh no, fail. Fantastic. <laughs> He will take 19 points of radiant damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, oh, sorry. The big, sharp the big stuff. Thank you so much for your donation of $10 Ooh. for blessings. Thank you so hey, much. The blessings. The blessings. The blessings. <laughs> thank you. Ah, thank you. Uh, hooray. So, this, how much was it? So, uh, 12? 19 radiant 19. damage. 19. Sweet. Uh, yeah, you like it. It almost looks like it erupts from the place where the guards managed to stab it. She's like, oh, whoosh, and just light and just <laughs> Carl's back. Andre, correct me if I'm wrong, but one of your broadened horizons was uh, the ability to detect evil. Correct? Yeah. I can. Feel While it. you're busy doing this thing, when you saw the guards come and take the king, oh fuck! You oh, detected yeah. evil. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. So well, I uh, I still have movement. I'm gonna start running. Okay. Yeah, I'm off. I'm after him. Okay. Um, Aura, it's your turn. Hailstorm is there if you need him. He's right. In, he's right in your way, base. How do I like That's talk true. to him? Just. I'm just saying. Fair. And you're tiny. Oh yeah. Okay. I I run over to hail to hailstorm. And I jump onto his back and I say, sorry, buddy, I need your help right now. Go after the king. He's absolutely listened to. You. He knows everyone. Like, it's a... He knows we're all on the same side. I'm so excited. Yay! Uh, all right. Aura, it's your turn. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to try something. Hmm. All right. As soon as I've got that uh, necklace of the liar bird on me, I'm gonna try and uh, use thaumaturgy to project my voice like it's coming from behind the heart beast. And I'm gonna try and use the general's voice and say, um, oh shit, did we ever hear the heart beast's name? No. Doesn't matter. I'll just try and replicate his voice with the necklace on. And I'll say, uh, that bird banished me, destroy it. And I'm gonna try to convince hmm. the heart beast to attack the rock. All right. Uh, oh, that's make, trippy. Make a persuasion check. Um, should I put a blessing on it? Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a blessing on it just in case. Do it, do it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Dirty 20. <laughs> 30, you, you just, and it starts, you know, it's going to start trudging over toward the, toward the rock. Okay. And then I'm going to, so that was, uh, action teams, thaumaturgy. So, uh, my second action, I will, uh, summon the fates. And then with my movement, I'm going to get over to the rock and then, uh, Bonus action, I will just hit it with my, um, can I have bonus action with my main attack weapon? Mm. Or does it have to be my offhand weapon? It have to be your offhand. Okay, so I'll hit it with the heartache dagger. Uh, 24 to hit. Uh, that will hit. 
for my just my itty bitty little bits of damage. Four points of piercing damage. <laughs> right. pew, pew, pew. Damage is damage. Mm. Damage is damage. I'll yeah, get one the next round. I just wanted to wanted to try to do something. Mm-hmm. Is that all? Uh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, Bubo, it is now yes. your turn. Great. Am I still grappled? You are. You're going to have to bust out a strength check to get out of his... Uh, his okay. Party. Do I know where they've placed my weapons and can I access them? You know where they are and you cannot access them. They're up at the top near where your cage was. Great. And uh, another spire. Can I get Dumoro out of his cage? Do I have the capability uh, of doing that, or is it a, a lock or something that's beyond my skill? It is. I mean, it's locked, but yeah, you'd have to get out and get to him in order to do it. Uh, but so I, could, he, he's I like, could release him, though, right? Yeah, yeah. If you okay. manage to get over there and either okay. pick or smash the lock, you could probably get him out. Is that a strength check for the grapple? Yes. Okay. And it's it's tricky because it's a big talon that you're yeah, in right now. Yeah, that is woof. Uh, I'm going to use one of the group re-rolls for that. Unless, I should, unless we should save them. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. All right, I'll, I'll use I'll use one of them. <laughs> Dave's just like cartoonally. Whoop. Okay. That was some Scooby-Doo level shit. And then, uh, oh, I don't have a lesson. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, 19. 19 is exactly what you need. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, you Reroll was perfect. break free. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, and then I'll run over to Doomerel's cage mm-hmm. um, for the movement. Um, was that breaking of the grapple an action? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so it says Danny used those damn rerolls. He, I think he, did you bless it? Did you reroll it? I think it's fine. I'm saving them for other things because I still have to wait for the cataclysmically bad thing to happen. I am biding my sweet ass time. Wait, mm. that hasn't happened yet. Nope. I thought no, that happened. happened. No, no, you that's just had a monster drop off so the far. Yeah, that hill yet. That's a monster no, drop. So no, I refuse it, to have any more pain. Hey, mm-hmm. oh, boy. Oh. Is pain? Yeah. Anyone who so, tells you otherwise, can you something. use metal weapons? Uh, I'm uh, yeah. I can use uh, martial weapons and short swords, and simple mm-hmm. weapons. Because he only so, just yeah. recently learned druid, so he didn't start as that. So he's yeah. So yeah, I have yeah, I have ranger class, so I can use metal weapons for sure. What is that? Um, great. Uh, okay. So then, because I wanted to cure wounds on myself, but that, but because I got out of the grapple, that was my action, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I can't do anything else. Dun, dun, dun. Yoshio, it's your turn. Oh, shit. Uh, seeing that Bubo just got free, I'm gonna take the short sword off my uh, belt and toss it to uh, Bubo. It's like all these weapons. I have a shield and a <laughs> blunderbuss oh, and a short sword. Have- I have a shield and a blunderbuss before. Oh, <laughs> just so know you know, so I have something. I don't, I don't. He has, he, I mean, he has a blunderbuss though. You wanna give him something. He wants yeah. his bow. I want my <laughs> freaking staff and my I want my Horteal staff is what I want. Uh, Ideally, yes. <laughs> I want your Horteal. I want you to have your Horteal staff or my bow. Yes. No, you can uh, you can hold on to your short sword. I appreciate the offer. Uh, up to you. Up to you. If you still want to toss it to me, I mean, I'll reach nope. out and take it. I didn't know you had you know a pile of weapons. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so I'll uh, uh, use uh, fighting spirit again. Get uh, advantage on my attacks for the round and go to town on this heart beast uh 27 to hit that will hit but please re-roll that <sighs> uh. now do i get a vent or just that die re-roll just that back okay then i'll take the other one from the advantage right or no. is that how that works or you're making him re-roll but he has advantage on the hit so does he re-rolling with advantage again I think whichever result it was, because my like the DM reroll is just kind of like to replace the result. So whichever result that was, we're just rerolling that. Okay. All right. So a. It's a dick move. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen. <laughs> That'll still hit. How many do I have? Plenty. Reroll. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> <laughs> 
Here we go. Rogue dice. Rogue dice. Oh! oh. I think you got what All you right. want as a natural one. <laughs> oh! Hooray! Keep it! <laughs> oh, Keep it. <laughs> how convenient! <laughs> Sorry, and what attack were you trying to do? Sorry, it was a... Uh, Weapon. It was a sword? Yes, long sword. Straight down. Okay, uh, and that was on the the heart beast, correct? Correct. Uh, so you you swing you swing at it, but unbeknownst to you, it has shifted its focus uh, from uh, Nitsage to the rock on the other side of the room, and it just starts charging forward. So as you swing down, its beak glances, catches the hilt, and yanks the sword from your hand, and it continues to move toward the rock on the other side of the room. So now there's like a big ass bird between you and your weapon as it skitters across the floor. Um, <laughs> Pull out my long sword then. <laughs> <laughs> Short sword. <laughs> See, glad you kept it. Uh, the <laughs> balance says, "Oh, how uh, many DM rerolls do I have?" Screw night duck vault. <laughs> yeah, how do you do that? Danny's just like diving into his pool of rerolls. <laughs> this was a what? Uh, Nineteen to hit. Nineteen to hit. Still at the heart beast. Use them up, Daniel. Use them up. Natural coin. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Put a blessing on it. Put a blessing on it. Put a blessing on it. Yep. Blessing. Bless. I would listen to your cohorts at this point. One. Yeah. That's a Perfect. That's so it's enough. 21 to hit, and I can't touch it. So that's yours. Um, and you get all that wonderful crit damage. I mean, she says, holy fuck, Danny. I know, I am drunk on power. Look at all those rerolls. I'm still in the double digits. <laughs> He's got so many. Oh my gosh. Everyone hurt Danny. And we're, we're looking at his monsters the wrong way. So he's got to <laughs> reroll everything. It was how much? 16 points of damage. Dang. All right. Uh, not quite there yet. Um, but this bird is bleeding out. You almost feel dirty doing it because a heart beast is like a, a piece of another person's soul. And even, as much as a monster as this guy is, it's like the Kwai have gotten so used to banishing people mm -hmm. as like the solution that like corporal punishment and like death sentencing seems really severe to you guys. Um, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, hooray. All right. And All now right. it's the other hooray. two guards turns. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, you got my do it. second attack. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, one more. Cool. Hey, uh, cool. <laughs> cool, cool, hey. cool, 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 hey. cool, 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 23 to hit. <laughs> I'm going to let you keep it. Mm. All right. I have. You can reroll, Danny. Go ahead. <laughs> Use one of your, your DM rerolls. <laughs> let me look at the blessing count real quick. Where are we at? <laughs> nah, you can keep it. You can keep it. Is Ryan, are you keeping up with the root blessings and rerolls and all stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, five points of damage. I'm going to action surge. Don't have to. Describe how it happens. Hey. Uh, oh, right. What is this again uh, that's going down? The heart? The heart beast. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, right in the back of the head as he's like, turns to move. Mm -hmm. Oof, sword comes out of his beak. <laughs> Thing, yeah, just honorable to the heart beast, Mr. Samurai. Mr. Samurai. Ah, uh, yeah, the body just slides nope. across the floor. A little re uh, reduced friction from the smooth feathers, but it just still just bonks against the rock, which is now unattacked by the other giant bird. Um, sorry, now it's the other guard's turn. And the other cricket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dangerous to go along. Oh. Take this blessing. Thanks for the blessing. Thanks for the blessing. Blessing. Come back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. That's a bad. That's not a bad. I thought it was the beautiful sword, but that's a one. Uh, <laughs> one of the guards uh, does hit, and he'll do <laughs> just fine. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's valid. <laughs> Finally, somebody made the joke. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Get out of here. <laughs> um, right, oh, so one of them. Uh, uh, oh, mm -hmm. sorry. This is an important. This is a good question, Sarah has, and I have the same question. Um, it's been forever since I've caught Salons. If you kill the heart beast, does the person bonded to it die as well? No. No. We knew it's that so much happened. worse. We know that about Hush. 
Yeah, because yeah. Hush, Hush has died, and it's like pure it's agony for the rest of your existence, but you don't die. You just linger, just he and brought, it's terrible. Brought you uh, back. Yeah, so he's going to have a fun existence when he pops back into this room. Uh, and then there's real mad. Real mad. It's good that oh, we're killing this uh, thing first before he comes back. Yeah. yeah. So one guard manages to get a good slice like up in the rock. He's just poking at it. And the other one's like, yeah, you did pretty good. I'm going to try. And he goes up and just the rock just oh, uh, bites him in half. You just see him come up, swallow that, and the legs do, do, hit the ground. They try. Uh, one guard is done. I will those are, those are good guards, right? Yeah, they're your friends. Of course. Well, not your friends, exactly. They hate you, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're back up to, well, that would have been Rothbo. I don't think a minute has passed yet, so he's still out of here. Thank uh, God. <laughs> Derhurstrom says, was picture. that the lawyer from Jurassic Park? Uh, that's what I was thinking, too. Oh. Do I sense that Hailstorm is being taken, you know, and being used by... Yeah, he, he like, he sends you a, a bit of a, a mental image uh, of everything, like, whipping oh. past, and so you're, you're able to see where he's going, and you're... Uh, Andre is chasing after uh, uh -oh. these guards that are fairly far ahead at this point. Okay. Sorry, I lost sound for a second. Can you say something? Uh, say something. Beep up boop. Say okay. something. We're good, we're good. Look up here. <laughs> hey, you guys! <laughs> I would Listen. like to yell out, the king is being kidnapped. <laughs> Someone in the room is like, we've got bigger problems! <laughs> <laughs> That's bigger? Um, and I want to, uh, Andrew, Bubo's good with the weapons that he has. Oh, I don't know. I haven't used them yet. <laughs> I mean, I'll, uh, I'll make, I'll make do. I'll, I'll say that much. Without Content. further do. <laughs> Without I'm further do. <laughs> I'm going to Spatana. run and jump. In the, I'm going to run and jump into the portal. Mm-hmm. Uh, to just try and get me closer to that uh, spot right there. Uh, and can I see, have they gotten far from the allotted time that we have or where are, where are the guards that are? Um, they're, they're fairly, they had about a round I think to move forward. So they're, I wanna say they're a good 120 or 30 feet from you, pretty far. And they're also spiraling up. They're like running upstairs. And uh, Andre and Hailstorm are are before me, or sorry, what? Uh, where is Andre and Hailstorm? Andre and Hailstorm, you can see them like ahead of you. Like you see tail feathers whipping around. So you know they're about maybe a half level above you. Uh, these stairs go all the way around the towers, all the way up to the top of the spire, which is where uh, the king's chambers are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, son of a gun. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll use, uh, You know what? I'm going to use my action to to dash. I'll I'll use the rest of my movement to run and then and then dash toward them as well too. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I can, you know, use some of those jump aspects of myself to try and you know yeah. get that a little further. Just Usually kind of utilizing all of those skills together, you're able to catch up. You're like you're just kind of like sprinting and hopping just underneath Andre. You're, you've managed to catch up there because Andre's still getting used to riding uh, Hailstorm. Right. Mm. And then Hailstorm is still, uh, yeah, whatever he needs to do to mm -hmm. run and bash and all that stuff to to obey Ryan's, uh, Andre's, uh, you know, riding commands. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my action. Sweet. Starheart. Mm. Okay, um, I... Um, I, I cast, oh gosh, I'm losing some of my stuff. I cast Guiding Bolt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, that's not bad. 16 to hit. 
16 to hit. Will yeah. hit, so re-roll it. Uh-huh. Are, are you looking at me? I'm looking directly at you. Well, that look weird. Huh? Um, uh, 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 dirty 20. Reroll that, too. Okay. <laughs> Fine! <laughs> One blow on my dice. Thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a natural one. Bitch! 25 to hit. Reroll it. No, I mean, I'm using, <laughs> no, I'm using a. Can I use a group blessing? How many do we have? We have three. Okay, I'm using three. one. Yeah, you good if I use one? Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm doing it. Okay. Um, <laughs> the gentleman was like, are you serious? <laughs> Sharp Step says, we're in a pandemic, Deepa. <laughs> what? Oh. See, uh, see well, you later. You make everything last. What did thanks, I do? Thanks for no, joining no, us. Blowing on dice is during yeah. a pandemic. Oh, oh, I got yeah. it. I got it. <laughs> we're going to get something way worse than a natural one. Okay. 15. To hit? Oh, damn it. Damage. Yar. That will do it. I mean, not do it. It's not done, but yeah. Yeah, that'll. you said it. That'll do it. We win, D&D. No. <laughs> um, but any then... you do it. <laughs> um, uh, Sarah oh, White, no, that was the heart beast that is now I, dead. I... When I cast spiritual weapon before, I did the wrong type of dance. I did the wrong thing. Which is why I it chose was so the wrong high, thing. And I, why I was so confused. Yeah, so um It's cool. Do you wanna give him some damage back? Some health? Nope. No, it's okay. fine. We'll continue. Um I, I'm also going to use my spiritual weapon. Mm-hmm. With this one, which is the correct one. Mm-hmm. Seven. S- two hit? No. Radiant star heart damage. Oh damage, damage, damage. Uh nice. Oh, do I have to roll for it to hit too? I'll roll. I don't. Uh, not I mean, it's already out, so I didn't know. Yes, you I have to roll it as an attack, I believe. Okay, I roll. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, 16. That'll do it. Okay. That'll hit, I mean. And then yep. I already took the damage, so you're good. Wait. Cool. Oh, I should have healed Bubo. Shit. Uh, it's the Sorry, king's I... turn. It's Sorry. the king's turn. And uh, Andre, you're able to see. Uh, quite a sight uh, from the back of Hailstorm as you're s- sort of speeding and spiraling up the staircase. Uh, and he's like, you're doing your best to just hold on while he's doing his best to just hold you on. Uh, this is very awkward sort of flight that's happening. And you can see Mitsuj uh, kind of catching up below you. Uh, but you see the king uh, as he's sort of bleeding out and the guards somehow seem to be moving faster than should be possible. Like, you know mm. that everyone from the Quailier are fleet-footed, like they're very fast as a people and they're able to move nimbly, but it seems that something else is giving them a bit of a boost in this particular situation. Um, and that's sort of his turn is trying to not really struggle because he's still seeing faces that he trusts, right. uh, but you can tell he's sort of in pain because he's getting jostled so quickly. Um, it is now the big bird's turn. Uh, the big bird. And currently, I think is it, Yoshi is probably the only person facing him directly. So I think he's going to turn his focus that away. Uh, oh wait, actually, Starheart, you're the last one to whap him. Mm-hmm. That's going to go for you. Well, fart. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Uh, what's your What's your AC, real quick? Enough. Nope. <laughs> All of them. Uh, 20. Your AC what? is 20? Yeah. Well, that's fine. Oh, uh, wait. No, hold on. Hold on. No, <laughs> I gave you. Wait, wait. Hang tight. Andre, you're wearing my bracer, aren't you? Uh, yes, you did give it to him. I am wearing it. Yeah. Yeah, and my shield. bracer gives me. And your shield is gone. Oh, snap. My bracer. Oh, yeah, now. Hang on. Um, where is it? You got plate mail on, right? Hang on. I don't know what my bracer does. Um, my bracer gives me armor, but I don't know how much it is. But it's minus two for the shield, so 18. Okay, so these are still hit. Um... 
Uh, I'm trying to find my brace. I damn. didn't write it down. Damn it! Why? This is gonna hurt you. Okay, that's 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 not okay. But do you remember how much my bracer does? Not off the top of my head. That's in my old notebook. I don't okay, know. yeah, it's not in my new notebook. Anywho. Okay. Uh, so you're going to get hit by uh, for 27 piercing damage oh. from the beak of the rock, and then 27 slashing damage from its talons. What? Yup. Welcome to, to the big bird. That almost took me out. Okay. Okay. I'm. I am wounded. <laughs> I am <laughs> wounded. Yep. Concentration check. Oh yes, concentration check. Um, but the What's... bracer, it's the um, the flintborn bracer that um, is from my my aunt and uncle. They gave it to me, and it and had a high armor class that I, I gave checks. to Andre. Two checks because it's two attacks. Mm. Okay, so, so what do I? Either one of those fails, he pops back into. What do I do? I just roll. You have to beat half of that damage, so twenty something each time. Well, half of that, so it's four, twelve, ish. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, so, so I need to roll. Twice. Oh God! Which okay? It's like, it's like a Constitution saving throw, right? Okay. Okay. Are you adding Constitution to that? Yeah. So don't forget to add your saving throw number, oh! which is going to be different than your normal check number. You have rerolls well, too. Not... Huh? You have rerolls. Wait. There's too many people talking. What? 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 The blasting. Yes. No. Hold on. Someone said I need to add something. What do yes. I add? Yeah. Your saving throw modifier, which is different than your normal check modifier. It's usually a higher number, so you're gonna to want to make sure you add that. Your constitution. I... Constitution That's... saving Constitu throw. Modifier. Where Where do I see the saving? Throw? Under saving throws, top left. Okay. Oh, it's the same. So it's just plus two. Okay. <sighs> I need to reroll this. All right. You've, you've been able to put a blessing on it? You it's, have, it no, you it's have, too low. It's too low. You have three re-rolls, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll. Cool. Yeah. It's it's not. <laughs> blessing would, like, come on! A blessing wouldn't do anything. <laughs> okay, that's better. That's better. 19. Cool. And Get back in there, bitch! And then you have a second one you have to make. You have to do a second one. Okay, I'll use the same dice. Come on, dicey boo. One, so you know. I got two more rerolls. You still, still have two rerolls. rerolls. I do. Do I want to use them? Yeah, I want to use them, don't I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Switch dice. <laughs> it's like, come on, and another okay. one. Right, 16, 16, 16. That works. Did you add yes. a blessing? Fuck. No. No? You no, didn't? So Reroll it. No, Who's I'll add a group Wait. blessing. Do, are you okay if I add a group blessing? Do it. You need okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay, added a group blessing. Um, so cool. what did I say? 17? I said 16. 16? 16. So it's 19 now. Okay, so now you have to roll again because it's the second attack. No, that was it. No, that no, was that was the second attack. That was the second attack. You're good. Stop confusing good. her, Justin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep, we're good. You managed to hold on to that banishment spell. Holy shit. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, thank you, Chaos, for bringing that up. Holy mackerel. Thank you. Uh, Andre... This is gonna be fun. Uh, so you um, make it, uh, so you see they have gone into the throne room. You okay. fly into the throne room. Uh, Nitsid, you skid in right behind him into the throne room. Sitting on the chair is Elish Basir. <laughs> Smiling calmly, pleasantly, expectantly, happy to see you. Uh, King Nilka is being dragged to him uh, by the guards. Andre, it is so good to see you. As you can see, and he just lazily moves his hand, and the king is plucked from the grip of the two guards. His throat is now between his fingers. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do my own dirty work. You could have done this for me. You see almost no muscles even activating as he just tosses it, this king around like a rag doll. But you have unfortunately called my hand. You see, I realize it is him or me and 
it will never be me. I would say you have about two minutes to exit this. And he pulls out uh, like a pin or a brooch pin or something. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh, he just he, he said in the chat they got booted off Zoom. Gotcha. How weird. Okay. Oh, okay I'm sure. Man. I'm sure they'll try to Hold. reconnect. Holding, please. Holding, please. No, right in the middle of the goodness. Stay in position. Hold your position, everybody. Places, please, it's all, it's places. It's all for the tension. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Switching over to a, a quad view so everyone can still <laughs> see appropriate. Unless, cut, unless they come back. Cut back to um, oh, oh, Vinny. <laughs> so, uh, did we win? Did we, we won, right? What? Uh, <laughs> wrong time to ask. Okay, uh, I'll wait. No, you should cut back to prison, nope. Mike. <laughs> oh, they're coming! They're coming back! They're coming back! They're coming back! They're coming back! Uh, Karis, yes, this is the catastrophe. Fuck. God damn it. I mean does does it not sound like a catastrophe? It sounds like a catastrophe to me. Just a bit. Yeah, this is this Go is ahead. a this is a catastrophe of the highest catas. Uh-huh. <laughs> Try banishment! Yes, do it! Do it for the Counter spell. Oh Counter but he's spell. already banishment he already killed help. Anelka. And he already killed Naka. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't What I was going to do, but it's not a reaction. Banishment isn't a reaction spell. If it was, I would have cast it on on Nelka. Oh yeah, that's smart. It's too late. Um, Can we revive him? He takes out that brooch pin and he balances it on his palm. The interesting thing about the isles is how fragile they are. Fuck. So delicate. Every spire, every tower, and he like pushes the pin. The entire tower that everyone is in goes (laughs) as I said. Perhaps you should hurry. And he flicks the pin. The entire tower hold on, begins. Hold on, hold on, Danny, hold on. What's up? They're having. We just got kicked off the Zoom. No. We missed yeah. all of that. Yeah, they missed a bunch. Oh, okay, sorry. I, I saw I you just, back just, in. I thought you had audio on. I no. just typed no, I don't care it. Enough of it. How did Nuka die? I want to start from the fact, the the start from what I saw. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I I just messaged it to you guys. What happened? <laughs> That's fine. Well, I, I, I'm happy happy to recap. Uh, Daniel, what happened? I'm on it. I'm on it. Um, so uh, Basir plucked Nelka from the guards, ripped out his throat, let him drop to the floor. As he's sort of describing the beauty of the Green Isles, he pulls out a brooch pin from his uh, from his coat or from his robes. And he uh, is just mentioning, he says, You see, the Green Isles are so beautiful and so fragile. And when he taps it on fragile, the entire tower... (laughs) And he says, As I said, you should run. Could I have have counterspelled his, like, his thing that he was trying to... No, he like literally grabbed his throat and killed him. It wasn't. Oh, grabbed his throat. Yeah, oh. he just crushed yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the pin. At this case, in this particular point, I'm no. kind of yanking the power from you because this is the this is our our horrible thing that they tipped for. No, it's fine. He's dead. Fine. Uh, and now it's a matter of escape. The foundations of this tower are now crumbling beneath your feet, and you got to get the hell out of dodge. So yeah, he flicks it, and you see him sort of just wave. Your mother says hello, Andre. Please join us when you can. He turns and a sort of void opens in front of him on the throne. He steps through as the ceiling begins to crash. As the ceiling crashes, you see uh, King Nilka's heart beast hit the ground and burst into flame and just crumble into ash. The line ended. Fuck. Uh, yeah. So Doomeril is still ensnared, right? We still don't have Doomeril. Doomerill is still in the cage, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I and, just want to make sure I know where we all are. We yes. are and we were all, like, this, the jail cell was the, the cell was all in this structure that's fallen down? The jail was like a, like a, a an addition to or, the top of this. The, the courtroom. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, the courtroom was beneath the, the king's chambers. All of this is like one, like, three or four or five story tower. The king was <laughs> oh, near great. the top. Prison is even higher. Uber Baldi donated. All, it's all falling down now, right? 
because you guys are above us right now. Oh, Jesus. Overbaldy, uh... what the fuck are you doing here, Layden? <laughs> this is a combat zone. It's restricted. <laughs> <laughs> Ease off on your main thrust. Thank you for Come the on. donation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks for the donation, though. We appreciate it. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> is it... Okay, so it's... Whose turn is it right now? It is your turn, but before you can take your turn, uh, you see those two guards who dragged him up. They are kind of looking at you glassy and smiling, and their heads get completely caved in by the stone falling from the ceiling. Uh, you two need to make dexterity saving throws. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> 18. 16. Sorry, loud noises. What's that? 18. 18? 16. All right, you both managed to, to back up and just kind of flip out of the way as the stones begin to fall, but you the walls are going. The top is going. You can see oh. the prison sort of hanging out the window, which means the top has now buckled as well. Uh, Hailstorm made a an 8. An 8? Yep. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to get. So then it's going to be uh, 14 uh, bludgeoning damage. Oh, oh shit. I'm All right. Liner for the donation $50 for DM powers to Ryan. Oh. Um, and because Uber tipped for it, I got to do it. <laughs> um, so, before your DM powers, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, uh, from from the chaos of all these swirly things, you see the two crushed and broken bodies of those uh, those tormented guards kind of like start to mush together, uh, and you just hear horrible flatulent. Gosh, they congeal into a ball. Different sort of <laughs> sphincterous stalks uh, exit from either side of it. Sphincterous <laughs> stalks. That is so disgusting. That's a word. Uh, and it releases a, a noxious gas. Uh, so make a constitution saving throw. Who? I'm Ooh. there with you, Ryan. <laughs> this isn't my favorite drop either. Ooh. Uber. <laughs> huh? Who's making this, th this 14. throw? Andre. Was it 14? Yeah. All right. Um, you'll take uh, six poison damage, but you are not poisoned. That's cute. Uh, He's still on top of Hailstorm, right? Does that do his Hailstorm need to make a saving throw as well too? No, it was a a, a pointed noxious toot. <laughs> uh, really quickly, are we going to forty-five or eleven? Uh, I'm gonna try and wrap it up by forty-five. Sorry, about okay, that. we did go a little long tonight. That's okay. I'm just trying to trying to gauge. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ryan, whenever you're ready, you've got DM powers, and the the tower is crumbling. The king is dead. Wait, are we out of miracle? Almost ten dollars. Almost ten dollars till yeah, not there yet. Uh, um, <laughs> dragons. Is, I think it's time to dip. Yeah. Do you have Ryan? Do you spare the dying? Does that do anything for Nelka? Uh, it does when you have DM powers. I mean, you hear it, the man. Yes, it's you touch a living creature that has zero hit points. The creature mm -hmm. becomes stable. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it could work if I yeah, if yeah. we did it. Uh, I just, yeah, I don't. I was curious about Danny. Um, whether mm -hmm. when he was I'm killed, curious was about that Danny more... too. <laughs> 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 when oh, when uh, Nelka was killed, was it more of a a, a magical killing, or was it just a squish? No, the magic was to bring him up to his hand. The the violence that ended his life was he essentially just gripped him by the trachea and just pfft, ripped it out. Got he it. He basically so just Rambo. snapped his throat open. I, yeah. So, okay. Um, I, sure. I'm going to do it. Do you want me to do a timer for you so you don't have to watch that? Sure. Okay. All right. Um, Six minutes, right? Hold it up to the king. Oh, okay, there it is. Thank you, Sharp. Anyone approve? Ah, Sharp Tiff. Oh, Sharp Tiff. Shit. Shit. And we're at a miracle. Thank you, Sharp Thank you for that. Are ready for Our miracle. players get a miracle. Thank you. Hey, do he DM roadhoused him. DM powers first. Roadhouse. Mm hmm. Okay, um, uh, Ryan, whenever you're ready. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I do is I rush over to King Nelka and I cast Spare the Dying on him, 
um, which at that point I then also take on my otherworldly form, which I sprout wings, pick up the king in my hands, and I fly out towards the rest of the group in the courthouse. Um, I yell to them uh, to get onto anything that flies and start getting out of here. Um, and I seconds. grab Starheart because she's about that size that she'd still be able to fit with me. And I grab her with uh, Nelka and I leap out the window and I start flying to anywhere that's safe. Um, everyone else is able to get onto something um, that, that will allow them to escape without any harm. Ten. And um, when we finally arrive, um, I cast... Uh, Three. What? Two. Uh, whatever. Yeah. You, you, you distracted him. I know. <laughs> I'm counting. Does anyone hear my the buzzer? It's a Jawa. <laughs> That's what that was. Ryan, yeah. what did you say? We couldn't hear you because... I'll let you finish your sentence. Okay. I just, I cast Cure Wounds at first level to give the king just, like, five hit points. Okay. Wonderful. Um, so, yeah, everybody basically just uh, finds, like, pulls a Gandalf and, like, fucking launches onto something flying just outside of the window, because there's plenty on the Isle of Lear, so you're all able to escape safely. Not true for everyone in the tower. The word wasn't able to get to the lower levels, and they're all crushed under the rubble of this uh, this fallen thing. So that's lots of officials in this particular building have now been they smooshed. <laughs> Does um, it include Dumeril out of his cage? <laughs> <gasps> No one said it. I was thinking it. I was thinking it. Ryan, <laughs> did you read my mind? I didn't. <gasps> Son of a bitch. Thank God we have a miracle. Wait, no, we have a miracle. We have a miracle. I mean, I wasn't given the option to save him, to be honest. That's true. You weren't. Because that um, I was right next to him, and that was my next bit of action. That's yeah. true. That's true. Uh, let's say... Here, hold on, hold on. I gotta look at one quick little thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So as uh, as you hit the ground, um, as you land and kind of watch the devastation ahead of you that uh, Elish was able to unleash so easily, um, Bubo, you sense this like pain and longing from the, the distance of yourself and Doomrail. It's being it's so long. You're over 300 feet away at this point, if not further. Um, so you just feel this strain on your heart. Um, that like you can hear the screams and the death of, of all these people who are still being crushed alive inside that tower. Uh, but all of a sudden, you he you you look around the island and you can hear the trickle of water. Um, this place is known as is the creation of Luid when she created all these isles and they're all lush with life because of her waters. And you, as you're sort of just centering yourself and you realize that Dumeril is not lost just too far, the waters begin to overflow and splash down toward the rubble of the tower. They begin to fill with a bit of a pool a light trails down the center of it and you can hear just cracking rumbling and this <laughs> as the uh, as a lot of the uh, stones are then forced away and sort of bobbing along the surface of the water you see Dumeril's cage being uh, led up river toward you uh, this <laughs> newfound waterfall and it just sort of spills him off to the side the light disappears uh, and that's where we're going to leave everybody for the evening. Do we need to think about our broadened horizons? Did we hit that? Yeah, they think about them. I'm not going to ask for them now. Mm -hmm. That's um, totally cool. Because we wanted, out of time. Just want to know that we think about it. Did prison yeah. Mike make it out alive? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Prison Mike had two seconds of freedom where like the, you know, like one rock like cracked the, the opening I'm of the cage. Free. Like, I'm free! And yeah, and then oh. the tower just went Whoosh. I feel like it was Hitchhiker's Guide when the whale is falling and is really happy and then... <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, Vinny. Yes. Vinny made it out. Oh. Vinny made it out and he just keeps asking everyone about the state of the case. Ooh, who's got a rule on it? The king is dead. Wait, he's not dead. <laughs> just kind of like trudges back up the hill. <sighs> what a night. But wow. I also, I'm also, I was also hesitant of resurrecting him because I was like, his heartbeast is dead. 
the I, I can't oh, bring that shit. back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a phoenix, so, so eventually. Maybe. <laughs> We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. Uh, Thank you all for a great evening. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris, for yeah. hopping in. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Thank that was great you. for having me. This that was great. was great. Thank you. Oh, hey, everyone. Thank you so very, very much for your donations. Holy yes, shit. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We should hit the fan. Thank you. The far corner is fixing to hit the fan, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like devastated right now. Yeah. Dang it. We, we should not go to kingdoms because they kind of fall down wherever we go. <laughs> Every time we go. I don't do uh, kingdoms because they make me fall down. down. <laughs> We're almost worse than Eilish Basir at this point. Jeez. No, no, he don't do it. Get it. Yeah, he did it because of us. Oh, man. All right, let no, me find someone. To raid. Oh, yeah, who are we raiding? Do, 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 do. Oh man! Like emotionally exhausted right yeah. now. Yeah, There's yeah, this no is this is that. heavy. Had. At yeah. least my plan worked. I'm shocked. <laughs> I am like, it was wow. Good, when, also shocked. It wasn't. It was that fucking one. That's. <laughs> I'm also shocked, but I'm so happy that one of my plans finally went. It just chef's kiss it just worked <laughs> yeah, he, he full Dude, on like liar liar himself out, into a corner he's gonna yeah. come out of banishment into nothing and he's gonna fall oh probably, the probably. There <laughs> yeah, that's do right. we find well, someone to raid yes he's a we're raiding awesome. naku naku do it. let's do it to it he's still here yay hurts. go give naku all the love mm -hmm. uh tell him hello from all of us and again thank you all for being here thanks for thanks for helping us out with the studio and uh, we're hoping to bring more and more new fun and shiny kick-ass stuff and this show will continue we'll see you next week make sure you tune in tomorrow night for perception check and once again if you want anything from wormwood just use our code perception at checkout for free shipping Hooray! um and level up dice uh we're hoping to give away a pair or a set or something soon Ooh, yay wonderful that's exciting well, well, thank you. And join so the Discord. Much. Any of you who are new, please join the Discord. We have one yes. community there, uh, so please. Do that. I just joined tonight to see the shirt that people were talking about. <laughs> yep. And now you're hooked. Come, uh, right. Come to the Discord. I don't know. <laughs> he just throws the phone away. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, y'all. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.